Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. You, me, movies. No movies. You, me, the movies. You, me, and you you guys. The chat. Yeah. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Thanks for coming tonight. This is going to be fun, right? We've only seen like four requests for a Twinkie hot dog. Hot dog yeah. so far. I like, so. regret ever saying that live. Start from the top. Greetings to Brazil, Arizona, Colorado, Germany, Germany, pre dawn, Southampton, UK, Louisiana, Portland, Hudson Valley, the Midwest. Pensacola. The whole Midwest. Thank you for just covering the base yeah. of the whole Midwest. It's like 20 states, right? Something. Long Island. Putnam County. Tallahassee. He's the man from Tallahassee. Sweet. We watched that episode in Lost. A couple weeks ago. Twinkie, yes. Hot dog, no. Corn dog, yes. Hot dog in a Twinkie, absolutely not. <laughs> Cleveland. The South Pole. Florida. Orlando, Washington, Cleveland, wow. Cali, Korea, Korea, Detroit, Indiana, B Town. Don't know what B Town is, but welcome. Phoenix, Texas, the Bronx, Washington D.C., Manchester, Syracuse, Philippines. Holy crap! Australia, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Brooklyn, Dominican Republic, Ohio, Melbourne, Indiana, Maryland, Oakland, Vermont, no, yeah, Vermont, Chihuahuan Desert. I see VTL must want to say Virginia Tech, though. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't. <laughs> Sacramento, Tampa, San Francisco. Argentina, Virginia. Another, I think that's Korean. L.A., Savannah. Don't have Google Translate right now. Ottawa. Hello in Korean. All right. <laughs> Minnesota. Mexico City. Upstate New York. Massachusetts. Bloomington, Indiana. Indonesia. Kansas City. Now, is that Kansas City, Kansas, or Kansas City, Missouri? Toronto, St. Louis. Orange County. Glasgow. Seattle. I feel like we've named every state. I think you guys are nailing it. You are totally nailing it. I also wonder if people just make up where they're from. Yeah. Maybe. Anybody no, from, okay. Anybody from Mars out there? Cowboys or Chiefs tomorrow. Are they playing each other? Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys are playing the Chiefs tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> who you, you know who you're cheering for. Cowboys are the team, but you Patrick really Mahomes, like Mahomes. Is, my, is my quarterback, so... Sugar Bear's here. Sugar! Boise, Idaho. The moon. Oh, God, I'm so glad we finally got somebody to tune in from the moon. The Arctic. And then message retracted. I saw it, JR. <laughs> Lay Kester? Is that how you say it? An island with coordinates 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Don't even try it. Can't believe you said those out loud. What? 4, 8, 15, Stop. 16, 23, 42? <laughs> How's our audio? We got we sound all right, DL? <laughs> Retromongers from Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> Mahomes is ugly. All right, Cleon. How the why did that get hidden? I don't know. Ugly is a is a word now. Ugly is a have we seen Hush? We have not. Isn't that a uh, Mike Flanagan? Your girlfriend hates people, but she loves us. That's so nice. Who said I, that? <laughs> uh, Gennaro. I typically hate people too, so <laughs> but I like you guys. <laughs> Matthew Baker, how much to donate for hot dog Twinkies? Oh, man. Oh, man. She's got Twinkies and hot dogs downstairs. I do have... 
I just naturally have those things in my cupboard. And I got the easy cheese always I, on hand. I'm not sure about the easy cheese, though. Not sure about I that. I mean, if you want, we can go great value. I don't know why you keep buying me great value. This they, it's because I, I can't get the easy cheese. It if you think this is bad, try, try that. We have, like, two grocery store options, and neither of them carry easy squeeze or whatever it is on the regular so i just get lucky when i find it yeah we hear you fine eric shulman <laughs> uh what ghostbusters afterlife you he saw it last night i, I took my daughter to it last night he took our five-year-old daughter she to didn't it want to go night. to the theater so we'll have a reaction for it when it comes out on yeah, video it's kind of a perk that i don't like going to the she'll theaters, watch it because now i get to watch it with you guys so my daughter loved it. There was one point where she got really scared and had to cuddle with her with her aunt, but she got over that and then was loving it. He took his daughter and his sister to the movies last night. How sweet is that, right? It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Arcane series on Netflix. We have not. I haven't heard of it. I'll have to look it up. Eddie, Walmart is Walmart is what we have. Walmart is what we have. Yeah, Walmart. We, we just got a Target, too. We did just get a Target, yeah. So. At least closer. Happy upcoming Thanksgiving and happy anniversary. A little belated, but we are... But what are 12 days? Still can't believe Mr. Married without hat. <laughs> Two possible explanations. One... Taking off her photo or two shotgun wedding. <laughs> no, my grandpa was still wearing this hat yeah. at the wedding. Yeah, it, yeah. In fact, is uh, he wearing this one or the gray one? Um, I think, I think it was the, the gray that, one. That's his nice yeah. one. So, yeah, that's funny. Thank you, Grandpa. Thanks for hanging out with us, even though you're in Germany and it's like what four a.m. there or something. Something crazy. She has seen Knives Out. Which would be an awesome mystery for her to solve for a reaction. We watched it like six months or a couple I months before we knives out. Oh yeah, on the, on Netflix. Yeah, we watched it on Netflix. There's sequels coming though, so we'll definitely watch that. Yeah, I really liked it. I think I remember solving it. I don't think you did. I think I did. I don't think she did. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember now. I, I liked it though. Uh, John Candy movies are some of my favorite. I love John Candy, but who doesn't, right? Uh, maybe Cool Runnings might be one of my favorite ones. Canadian Bacon's not bad. Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. Is also, hands down. Uncle we Buck. just got a Spatula City, too. <laughs> spatula City! Spatula City! Spatula City! <laughs> Buy nine spatulas, get the tenth one free! Gotta love it. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It's next week, if you can believe that or not. Is the hat with the headphones tailor made? Uh, it's custom made. Custom. I mean, I guess you could say it's tailor made. She's not a tailor, but is Mrs. Movies becoming desensitized to scary movies? The fog barely made her jump. Honestly, I don't think I the think fog's was, that scary. I think it was because the fog was just—it's the old school, older school horror, right? So it's more creeping terror. Yeah. Than like... It didn't really bother me too bad. No jump scares in it, which yeah, is not really. which is usually what gets me as far as scares go, the jump scare part. Have I found a spatula for my caramels? Okay, so I did find, I have, we have paddles, wood paddles. We make a lot of caramel on the day after Thanksgiving. Yep, Black Friday coming up. That is our caramel making day as a family, and we make a lot of caramels. And um, yeah, two years ago... I found wood paddles, and we just uh, sanded down the handle a little bit so they're they're less bulky. Because uh, we you got to stir each batch for like an hour. So I think we've got something down, but you know, always looking for a good spatula. <laughs> <laughs> you have not missed the Twinkie hot dog yet. She's still trying to figure out if she's going to do it. Or uh, not. Yeah, we had dinner not too long ago, so it might be a little something to save. <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles. We've both seen that multiple times. That is a Thanksgiving movie. Yeah. We might have to do that. We're doing our first ever... Rewatch. Rewatch 
reaction I'm commentary. I'm super excited about it, you guys. Because it won one of our Christmas polls. It's our yearly tradition for Christmas time. We usually watch it on Christmas Eve. Die Hard. Die we've, Hard. We've seen this many times. So we're trying to figure out how... Like We've never done a reaction or vi- where we both have seen the movie. So Yeah, no, this will be a, a rewatch reaction, which I... I think I'm pretty excited about. Because I want... I mean, no. Everybody's probably seen Die Hard, but... No. I can't wait to, like, experience it with you guys again. You yeah. know? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Technically, yes. It's got bread on both sides of it. It must be a sandwich. Also, our Patreon could not solve the horror Christmas movie we're going to watch this year. Both Black Friday, or no, both Black Christmas and Krampus tied at 42%. So we will be throwing it to YouTube for you guys to vote on which one we which watch. Which one makes it. And I'm hoping Krampus wins because, honestly, there's a new version of Krampus coming out. This, like, I have it pre-ordered. It's like the unrated cut or the some some special cut. So it would be a fresh fresh watch for all of us. Hello from Colorado. John Candy was the best. Howard, you nailed it. He was the best. So funny. Just love him. His cameo in, or his small part in Home Alone, right? Like, oh my gosh, just the best. Polka King. Love polka, it. polka. Humongous, featuring Ottoman. Thank you. Ottoman, 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 I can't say your name. Humongous. Is that good enough? Well, we gotta watch Silent Night, Deadly Night first, Brandon. Before we watch the sequel. And that was on the poll, but it didn't it didn't win. But we will eventually get to all those classic How Christmas come horrors. Nightmare Before Christmas wasn't on the list? Um I wasn't sure. Like I was gonna throw it on the list or on the poll, but then I was like, I think this is more of a Halloween movie than a Christmas movie. So We'll eventually watch it because that's actually one I haven't watched either. So you've never seen Nightmare I've, Before Christmas? I have not. That's shocking. Yeah, we'll, we'll only watch the nineteen seventy four version of Black Christmas because I know the, the the remake is not good. Dally Pool depends on what kind of dream. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I mean? the naughty cut. That's what it is, Shane. It comes out on the seventh. Are you going to do the Home Alone movies? <laughs> there is a new Home Alone, but we've seen I've seen all the Home Alones. We actually had our daughter watch it for the first time last, last year. year. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so funny. We will sh- reshare that. We That was like our first recording of a reaction we ever did was for just our, our well, personal Facebooks. I mean, I just recorded, recorded it, it on my phone. She just busted a gut laughing so hard it mm-hmm. threw... The parts where they get hit by stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was the greatest. We'll throw up the, the highlight of it, though, on our Instagram when Tis the Season comes around. So make sure you're following our Instagram. Right? Yeah, yeah. We'll At you, me, the Instagram. movies. We're dropping frames. Are we? Like 3%. Just watch the first Home Alone. Oh my gosh, the first one's so funny. I actually really love 2. 2 might be my favorite. She's seen Bad Santa, right? Have you seen Bad Santa? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Like, but I only watched it one time. It might be one of those movies that I think is better the second or third time watching. He's still getting left alone? Yeah. Man, shitty parents, right? Loving the Bruce Lee shirt. Thank you. This was from a viewer. One of our viewers sent this, and we opened it on our last stream. Yeah. So I'm wearing it tonight. It's awesome. Lucifer, react to more zombie movies. Love you guys. Love your guys' videos. Keep up the grind. Mr. Movies, would you pick up your hat if you dropped it in a zombie apocalypse? Absolutely. I'd tell the Indiana Jones that. <laughs> Not leaving my hat behind. <laughs> Nice. More zombie movies, though. We got Train to Busan to watch. We got 28 Days and Weeks Later to watch. She's not seen all those. Is that the one with Sandra Bullock? No, that's 28 Days. That's the prequel to 28 Days Later. Oh. <laughs> Humongous, thank you again. Uh, 
Trading Places is a good Christmas movie. It is good. I've seen it, but it's a great movie. Star Wars Christmas Special. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've watched it. You haven't? No. I don't even know if there's a way to watch that. Is it on Disney Plus? We'll try to find it. <sighs> Ernest Saves Christmas. Seen it. The Walking Dead. Uh, we watched most of it. We've watched. Well, well, we, I don't know. It kept going. Yeah, it's, it's still, still going. going. <laughs> we actually both stopped watching it after we met each other. We would watched it separately before we met each other and then we both got over it like exactly yeah. at the same time we were like i feel like i lost interest once we met the guy with the bat yeah what was that guy's name negan yeah negan yeah. keegan negan negan in bridges i've not seen that return of the living dead that's on our list too it's on youtube they're saying what what is Something's on YouTube. Uh, Star oh, Wars the Christmas? Star Wars Christmas special is free on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, is it legit free, or is it like somebody put it up and Disney hasn't taken it down yet? Free. <clears throat> Why don't you like horror movies? Because I they give me nightmares, and I like to sleep at night, so I don't like having nightmares. He likes having nightmares. Not my thing. Nightmares are fun. That's like the easiest way to explain it. I like the uh, the new Ghostbusters. Um, it's a little bit slow, and I think that might hurt its rewatchability. But as a it's fan of Ghostbusters, it was two hours and fifteen fun. minutes long. Like, why? Yeah. I could there were, there was a point where our daughter was getting bored, bored, and then the moment happened where she got scared. And then after she got over her scare, she was into it till the end. So, Christmas Vacation. That's such a classic, right? Just a classic. Of course, we've definitely seen it. Yeah, I mean, nightmares are not fun. Like, I don't understand. Have we done seven? Yes, we have. Ron, it's on, it was actually the seventh video movie we watched. That wasn't by plan. This is by it was like, I was uploading, I was like, well, this is our seventh upload. It's seven. <laughs> That's serendipity right there. Yeah. Um, Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah, we're definitely going to do more Hitchcock. It'll just be scattered randomly. Yeah. Because I'm a Hitchcock fan, I think. She's a 90-minute movie person. Yeah. If it's more than two hours long, I'm out. Like, don't... I mean, we'll watch it, but she gets a little bored. I get I get tired of it. Then again, your favorite movie we've watched on our channel is Dr. Sleep. That's that was three true. hours long. It was really long. It did not feel like three hours long. <laughs> <laughs> that last hour and a half, was it went by quick. Yeah. That's my favorite movie ever. Favorite movie ever. Son-in-law. God. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> uh, I'd like to go through a stream without you saying son-in-law. They all, Every time somebody asks what my favorite movie is, I'm not going to lie to the people. <laughs> Can't lie to them. Rear Window is great. It's one of the movies that she's seen. Yeah. From Hitchcock. Yep, that's... She's seen The Birds, Rear Window, and now Psycho. Yep. But I think everything else from Hitchcock she hasn't seen. So North by North, Northwest, Vertigo, those are all ones that I love that we're definitely going to get to. I have not seen Rocky, Lucky Number Eleven. That's on our list, yeah. Or Apocalypto, or any Psycho sequels. Do you like war movies? She hasn't really watched too many war movies. I don't know you have why. To be in, you, I have to be in the mood, I guess. We just watched Saving Private Ryan. We watched it on Veterans Day, and it's coming out. It'll be out early access on Tuesday, so the following Tuesday on YouTube. Um, that was a great movie. Oh, yeah. my gosh. But you explain why. You're like, you kind of have to be in the mood to watch a war movie because you're more like, you're most likely going to cry because it's a war movie. Yeah, I mean, you know you're going to get choked up, so you know you're going to have all the feels. I got to be in the mood to have the feels. Yeah. Any other Polly Shore movies we should watch? Uh, 
All of them. Son-in-law in the army now. Jury duty. Biodome. Biodome. Those are like Encino the main Man. F- five Encino Man are like the main five. Yellowstone is a series we suggest too. We watch it off. We we've been watching season four. Yeah, we watch it off time. camera, but oh gosh, it's so good. You guys, Yellowstone, definitely watch it if you haven't. Fury. Watch more war movies. Okay. Kelly's Heroes. I've actually seen Kelly's Heroes with my dad. It's a great movie. I'd watch it again. Band of Brothers is on our list, so we'll be watching that too. As well as Fury. I've actually never seen Fury. That's one of the few war movies I haven't seen. So, uh, In the Army Now is one of my favorite movies. Just like Son-in-Law, obviously. It's so funny. She has not seen the Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 yet. Or Urban Legend. I think we're gonna we're gonna get we've gotten through some of the eighties classic horror. We got some more to do, but we're ge- we're getting to Scream because the new Scream movie's coming out next month or, or a month and a half, right in January. So we're at the end of December, beginning of January, we're gonna start the Scream franchise. Ray Hawkins, holy shnikey. Uh bummed that Jason has the top of your heart for now, probably because he's you started with him first. Maybe if I fill your collection up with Myers merch, you'll have to change your mind. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you so much for the for the hundred dollars. That's crazy. Thank you. And yeah, uh, you could probably change my mind. What if you like Jason Jay- versus Michael Myers. Michael Myers? I like them different for different reasons. I think she hasn't watched all the Halloween movies yet, so no. Yeah. She might like it better once we don't since we didn't binge them all, right? Yeah, yeah, not binging them might straight through might work to his advantage. Matthew Baker, did Mr. Movies cry at the ending of Ghostbusters Afterlife? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't cry, but I had the the chokes the the, 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 the throat, throat choke. tightening throat tightening sort of yeah. <laughs> P Biz, thank you so much for the contribution. It I'm a me. new subscriber but really love your reviews. Please review something offbeat like Reanimator nineteen eighty five, better off. Dead, 1985. I've seen Better Off Dead. Wait, oh. Have I? I don't think so. I'm trying to think. There's... I think I'm thinking... Well, maybe you have. I think I've seen it. Isn't that with uh Show me a cover. It's got your favorite... John, John Cusack? Cusack in it. Yeah, I've I've seen it. She likes John Cusack. I do so. like John Cusack a lot. Although Reanimator is definitely on our list, though, for sure. Is that the one where they drive to like L.A. or something? I don't know. I mean, I'll have to look at Better Off Dead again. I think I've seen it, but I I can't remember. Pencil necked fat man from 2020, Mel Gibson as Santa, fending off a hired assassin. That was actually on our poll because I really want to watch it because I haven't seen it. But it didn't win for Christmas this year. But we will definitely be getting to it. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Ryan, have you ever heard of Zoolander? Wait, is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've heard of Zoolander. <laughs> <laughs> Show him your blue steel face. <laughs> no, wait, no, that's a Latigra. Sorry. There we go. There's blue steel. Oh, yes, Serendipity is such a great John Cusack movie for sure. My favorite is Gross Point Blank. The Sopranos. I really want to watch The Sopranos. I can't wait till we get to that point. Mm-hmm. We have it on the shelf ready to watch. Yeah. So. You seen Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo? Have you? I have. Yeah. It's a good one. A John Cusack skiing movie. Maybe I haven't seen it. I don't know. That doesn't sound familiar. Well, maybe not. Gross, Gross Point Blank is one of her favorites. Oh yeah, this my it's my she favorite. She watches John it like Cusack once a movie. month. Yep, I watch it frequently. I love it so much. I think his chemistry with Minnie Driver is just so funny in that in that movie. Like the airplane? Like they do the airplane? <laughs> it's just so funny. 
Yes, thank you. I should get to indulge in some chick flicks. Pick one you haven't seen. I Well, for you, they'd be first time watches oh. for you. Oh, for me? Yeah. Do you watch Say Anything? <laughs> yes, I've seen Say Anything. <sighs> <clears throat> I just watched a chick flick last night on a new Netflix one, Love Hard. Love Hard. Oh, is that that bad movie you were watching? It wasn't bad. <laughs> it was cute. I liked it. You work in Gross Point? That's awesome. <laughs> That's so funny. Butterfly effect. I've heard of that. Just the mustache? You mean like shave everything else? I've done that. I look like a... He... I don't like it. It's not a good look for him. Not a good look. He does not look like Tom Selleck, let's put it that way. Or Sam Elliott. Definitely not like Sam Elliott. He needs the, the I beard like your hair. style, dude. <laughs> he needs the beard hair to not look like a real creepy guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and porn stash is about, yeah, that's right. <laughs> watch a movie with boobies in it. I feel like every, every movie, movie we watch, watch has like boobies in it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that happens every single time. I know how to pick them, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Brooks. We just got that not yeah, too long ago. We got it on our shelf. Uh, I think Marcus on this. Yeah, one. I'm excited to watch that. I like Kevin Costner. Shave everything? <laughs> no, Brian. No. His face just looks fat when he shaves it all. <laughs> Humongous. Thank you again. <laughs> no message. Hey, that's three no 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 messages from him. What was that? I don't know. You me and the rom coms. Ooh, I like that. You me Treadbull, what's up, dude? Secondary channel, you me and the rom com. Boogie Nights has boobies. Have you seen Boogie Nights? That's with Marky Mark? Yeah. Oh yeah. She's seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. It's got more than boobies. Uh, more than boobies. That was a prosthetic, <laughs> just so you sure, know. Sure, it wasn't sure. real. Whatever. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a classic. I love that movie so much. Have you seen Homeward Bound? Yeah, I have. There's no boobies in that. No, just no. dogs and cats. <laughs> oh, wow. Flying here. Can't even keep up. Yeah, Yellowstone is one of the shows. It's really the only show that we watch off stream. So uh, we've been watching it this season so far. Loving it. It's so good. That was a weird... No, it disappeared. It must have been a glitch. <clears throat> Showgirls. Have you ever seen Showgirls? That has got Jesse Spano from Saved by the Bell in it. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen it? Mm-hmm. Boobies. More boobies. <laughs> she hasn't seen Total Recall. That's on her list. The you guys crew. keep saying boobies, and I keep up to, to allow it. <laughs> How do I allow that as an okay word for us? Boobies is fine. It's just boobies. Um, National Lampoon's Class Reunion? Which one is that? Is that an old one or a new one? I think it's an old one. Three boobies on one person or just three sets of boobies? Andrew says, when he goes to Patreon and tries to get the granddaddy tier, it's always sold out. Is there a reason why it's always sold out? It's always sold out because it's always sold out and there's only four a month. So. Yeah, we only can do four a month because there's only four Saturdays yeah. a month. And <laughs> Jesse, I'm so excited. Spano. <laughs> I love that. Oh, God, that's the funniest. Titties is getting flagged too. How do I turn off? I'm tired of <laughs> boobies, titties, everything. You can't say it and can't say it in chat. Apparently, three boobies on one person. Oh, okay, that's total recall's got three boobies on one person. What are you guys spoiling it for? She hasn't seen it. <laughs> it's the first spoiler for a movie we've had. Bummer. Oh, is Doctor Giggles? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, Little Miss Sunshine is funny. Cute. And a little depressing. Is Pug Pillar here? Because I keep getting mess messages. Maybe it's just... Wow, well, can't 
keep up. Let's see if I can add it to the Castle Rock on Hulu. I feel like I've we started watching that. I think I think we watched the first episode of that or something. Couldn't get into it. Is that about Nazis? Castle Rock? Is that about Nazis? Yeah. We we watched like two episodes of it, I think. Yeah. Fun bags. <laughs> Mammary clans. Oh, God. They're just going for any anything you can call boobies <laughs> to see what gets through. All American uh, from California. Correctional officer retired this year. Congratulations on retirement. Thank you for doing that work. Watching lots of movies again. Videodrome with James Wood. Woods. James Woods. He's got two S's in his name. James Woods. Like his name's plural. Yeah, that's the guy that plays uh, um, Hades and Hercules. I think I can see his face in my mind. Artie. With Firefly <laughs> being a su success. Buffy watch. There's a lot of Buffy. I have never seen Buffy, so I would love to watch it. Um, stuff guys talk about. Can you say tits? <laughs> I I can say it. Can you? Thank you both for thank you all for your contributions. Appreciate it. And again, congratulations on retirement. That's so awesome. Knockers. Yep. Yeah. That one made it through. Oh, boobies uh, with periods in it works. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Are we losing? Okay. Stream or something? Is our stream all right? I don't know what I did. Video drone. I've never heard of that. We'll have to check it out. We'll have to check it out, yeah. Oh, you're thinking of Man on High, uh, in the High Castle on Amazon. Yep, yep, yep. You're, that's, you're right, Brandon. That's what I was thinking. So we need to watch... What was the other castle show on Hulu? Who said that? Um, who recommended that? Castle Rock. Castle Rock. Castle oh, Rock. Castle Rock is the uh, Stephen King show. Did we watch that one? No. Oh. You haven't. I think I got through like half the first season. Oh. What's that one that we started watching where it's like time travel kind of? It, like travels back in time and has to kill um, JFK? Yeah, we watched. What I was that show? That was that. cool. I don't think we did either, but that, that was, was Stephen cool. King too. Yeah, I know. I liked that one. Anyone know what we're talking about? The <laughs> one where he has to go back in time to kill JFK, before, or to kill some, kill somebody, the guy who killed JFK, or something. I don't know. Stuff guys talk about says, "Can you say tits?" <laughs> Duel. Steven Spielberg's first movie is an entertaining thriller worth a review for sure. Thank you for the five dollars, P Biz. Have to look that up. Chest <laughs> mountains. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> oh. Castle Rock. Okay, we'll have to put that on our list of things to check out. Our next Tarantino film? Ray, thank you. Hmm. Next Tarantino. I kind of want to go through Kill Bill. Kill Bill, maybe? 11 tw 2263, yes. Or, yeah. Oh, that's the show? Yeah. No wonder I can't remember it. It's not it's a, a word. Ugh. I can't hardly remember birthdays around here. <laughs> But thank you, Ray, for the five dollars. And thanks, chat, for helping me out with that date. You <laughs> mean the Twinkies? Poltergeist. We will definitely watch Poltergeist. Mommy milkers. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get to the Mission Impossible, right? Yep. We're gonna do Mission Impossible. Yep, it's on our list. Brian, hey guys, just sending a uh, how do you do and a preemptive happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, hope you're doing well too, Brian. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. It is my favorite holiday and I can't wait. We have not seen the Korean show Kingdom on Netflix, but I've heard, seen it recommended a lot. Let me look it up. Pa Pan's Labyrinth. That's one that you want me to watch, right? Yeah, that got second or third in our foreign language poll that Parasite won, so. Check out the fun bag on, the, on that hose out. <laughs> <laughs> also, Lisa, welcome to You, Me, and the Movies as a member. 
Hey, welcome. Enjoy the popcorn. Favorite Will Smith movie from each of you? Enemy of the State. Have you ever seen that? Yes. Enemy of the State? No. You don't think you have? No. It's got a... I know I haven't. What's his name? Favorite Will Smith movie. I know I haven't seen that one. Gene Hackman's in it? Nope. I haven't seen it. You've never seen Enemy in the State? <laughs> no, I haven't, haven't seen it. Right. I My three favorite are Men in Black, Independence Day, and Wild Wild West. And I, you know... Wild Wild West is I'm the so worst sorry, movie. you guys. Wild Wild West is probably going to win. I freaking love that movie. <laughs> it's the Wild Wild West. Oh, wiki wah wah. <laughs> wiki wiki wah. <laughs> I mean, that is probably his best song for a movie. <laughs> oh, man. Enemy of the State. His best movie, though. I also love Independence Day. Have you ever seen uh, Legend? I Am Legend? Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. it was scary. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's one of the scary movies she has seen. Yeah. Cause... It was good. It was just scary. Uh, oh, how about Band of Brothers or The Pacific? Both on our list. Ralph, Thank we're going to get to him. Yeah. Thank you. We're definitely going to get to him. Uh, I think we'll probably do Band of Brothers first. Yeah. Let's. I mean, the way they came out was Men of Brothers on the Pacific. Even though I've And it's what, like six history's episodes? History's right. I think we episodes? were in the Pacific before we went over to Europe, so, but. I don't know. We've seen No Country for Old Men. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen it plenty of times. I don't know how many times have you seen it. Is that the one with the oil? No, that's... There will be blood. No Country for Old Men's got a... Um, Tommy Toro. Lee Tommy Lee Jones in it and Benicio del Toro. Yeah, del Toro. Yeah, I've seen him. The coin toss. Oh no, love for bad boys. To be honest, I just I didn't see bad boys until like pretty recently. So like I remember Men in Black and Wild Wild West and Independence Day from like you know teen years. Um, and Bad Boys, I didn't see until, like, a decade ago, or less. There we go. Hellboy. She's, you've never seen Hellboy? No. Nope. It's on our list. <sighs> Wild Wild West is awful. <laughs> it is, but I still love it. Oh, it's Harvey Ar- Harvey Ar- Bardem. You messed me up because you missed... You oh, mistaked Benicio del Toro for Javier Bardem in one uh, movie. Javier, you messed me up ever since. Then. I cannot get them right. They are the same person in my mind. I know they're two <sighs> different people, and yet I think that they're the same. Uh, Dark Shadows. I oh yeah, I want to see that. It's like about vampires or something, right? Or it's got like it's. Is it a comedy? But it looks creepy. I don't know. It looks that. Halloween-y, I think, Dark Shadows. Oh, with, uh, I've never seen it. Johnny Depp? Yeah, yeah, it looks creepy, but I think it's, like, funny or something. I don't know. Yeah, I want to see it. It's a remake of a classic TV show. You need a popcorn sponsor. You think we can get Kirkland to sponsor us? <laughs> I don't think Costco <laughs> does sponsorship. Kirkland brand will sponsor us. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Kirkland Brand Popcorn. <laughs> Movie theater. Pitch. Two minutes in the microwave and you've got delicious popcorn. It's, not, it's more than two minutes, isn't it? No, it's about two minutes. James Bond. I love James Bond, you guys. I don't know how many I've seen, though. It's one of those things I would have to watch all of, all them, of them to remember order. which yeah. one she's seen. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we have the whole. We bought the whole Bond set on, I think, Amazon Day because it was like all 25 movies were like 50 bucks. Yeah, that's good. Couldn't pass that up. Not at all. But then we had to send it back because we got... It's a good thing I looked at it because we had two discs that were the duplicate. Same. So we didn't get one of the movies. So I had to send it back and they sent us another one. I don't know. I don't even know how that happens unless somebody already opened it. was a... Re, I don't know. What are your Thanksgiving traditions besides eating a lot? Making caramels. Yeah, so I, my mom and I do Thanksgiving prep 
on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And so we make pumpkin pies and um, tear all of the bread for stuffing and all that stuff. And that's my favorite day, I think. And then Thanksgiving, we just eat a lot, which is the best. And then mm. the day after Thanksgiving, we usually make caramels as a family, which is just the greatest tradition. And I watch football all day. Yeah, he's not very helpful with the caramels. Dallas Cowboys, go. Uh, last year, or maybe not last year because of COVID, but the year before, I think we made 160 pounds of caramels. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it was a lot. A lot of caramels. You guys going to do that much this year? I don't know. <laughs> We might be doing like a giveaways for caramels next live stream since we'll have see how much we yeah, have left over. Could totally do that. We have not seen No Time to Die. That's the new Bond movie, right? We have not seen that. We might have to do like a uh, what's his name? What's the new Bond's name? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig Bond marathon because she hasn't watched. I've any only of those. seen I've only seen one of the Daniel Craigs. The first one, I think, maybe the first and the second. I know the reactions filled up the schedule. What would you help with the workload in order to possibly get more game content on the side? Another editor. Well, there's a caveat. We have to have another editor that is local to us. Because we don't really have the internet Cause we don't out have here the, on the ranch. to. Yeah, we don't have the bandwidth to be able to upload content for somebody else to edit. Know, we might be able to now with the Starlink, but it be a long upload. I have played Dead by Daylight, yes. I don't think I could eat 160 pounds of anything, but I like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and the caramels are a labor of love, you guys. We make gigantic batches that you have to stir for an hour, and then you gotta cool them. And they have to cut them, and they have to, and we hand wrap everything. So, good night, Lisa. They're delicious. Thanks for hanging out, Lisa. Appreciate it. Have you seen I Robot? It's the Robot Will Smith movie. I own it. I don't know that I've seen it. I have it on DVD. I, I got I saw it that in theaters twice because the movie. case is clear. It's cool. Yeah. Mrs. Movies caramels. They're super. They're super. They are really good. They're my granddad's caramels recipe. It's so good. There's another franchise, Born. We've I've never watched the Born movies, so. Yeah, no, I haven't seen any of them. I don't think. Holiday, thank you for the five dollars. Love your content. Any plans to watch planes, trains, and automobiles? It's a Thanksgiving classic. Um, we both seen it. Yeah, it's so good, right? Uh, it might be one of those things we get around to one of these, you know, Thanksgiving. It won't be this Thanksgiving. Our our November's already completely full. Yeah. But I might watch it on the side because I like it. Billis, we do have Starlink. How much caramel gets ruined? Almost none of it. There are some batches that will get a little spotty. They'll have a little dark spots in it uh, because the caramel will get stuck to the bottom of the of the pot just a little bit too long. But. but that rarely happens, and it's still good even if it has little tiny spots in it. But other than that, we have very specific temperature we take it to, and um, and we've been doing it for, I don't know, 20 years consistently now. So kind of got it down to a science. No would Mrs. Movies react to Hockey's Deepest Facial Lacerations Part 6? Oh my god. <laughs> Do we have to watch the first five before that? Yeah, I guess I'd try. Deepest facial, facial lacerations. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Cleon, intense. what the hell, man? <laughs> will we be off Thursday or will be movies? There will be movies on Thursday. There's some. There's a video to watch on our channel every day of the week this month. Yeah, we uh, we worked hard the last few weeks to get a lot of content we... pushed through. I watched a lot of movies the last yeah, couple she, weeks. She's been watching, and a lot. he's been editing all the time. So, for gaming content, reaction to Alien: Isolation and Ghostbusters: The Game would be awesome. Even just watching the cutscenes, if need be. Are you going to watch Heat? Is that the Melissa McCarthy? Thank you five five dollars, Matthew. No, that's the Heat. Uh, he I, is like uh, 
Pacino, I think. Oh. If it's the Melissa McCarthy Sandra Bullock movie, She's I've seen, the, seen it. She watches and I like it way it. too often, too. <laughs> oh, man. Did you read Matthews already? Yeah, I did. Okay. We've not watched the new Chucky series. I haven't seen any of the Chucky movies yet. Yeah, that's so. on our list to get to, though. We'll watch those after the Chucky movies, I'm sure. How do we get a Mrs. Movies Carmel's giveaway? Well, again, I don't know. If you meant to be, like... The way you typed that, it sounds really rude, but then you said love the vids, so I think you had a typo. I think you missed a word. I really F with you guys. Love the vids. <laughs> um, well, how are we going to do the Caramels giveaway? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out next month. We'll, we'll have it on our live stream for December. Yeah. So if you... Because we'll know how much we have extra. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, tune back in and we'll do a... We'll figure out something, some way to do a giveaway for Caramels in December. Had a couple of questions about Ghostbusters left. I went to it last night with my daughter and my sister. Mm-hmm. Loved it. She didn't go. She'll be reacting to it when it comes out on home video. I stayed home with our little, and we took funny pictures. They're on Instagram if you want to check them out. Um, and yeah, we'll all get to react to it, which I'm excited about. That's the best part about not having to go to movies, right? I get to react to them now. Have you seen Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou? Starring Bill Murray? You made me watch it. It's that submarine movie, yeah? Yeah. He made me watch it. That means she didn't like it. Because she's saying, I made her watch it. Caramel's shaped of cowboy hats, mustache, and chesticles. (laughs) No, they're just square. Or rectangle. Ali starring Will Smith about Muhammad Ali. I can't remember if I saw that or not. I've actually never seen it. We That's could, the one he was nominated on for, uh, Academy Award for. Yeah, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Ray Hawkins, with $5. I'm a man of many talents. Might have to add editing to them. that then. Physical location seems the biggest hiccup for now. <laughs> well, email me, Ray. Yeah, send us an email, Ray. I mean, that goes for anybody that thinks they have editing talent. He's very picky. I tried to learn the other day. It didn't last very long. I, he gave me like five minutes, and after that, he was like, "Yeah, this isn't gonna work out." <laughs> <laughs> like I, ju- I never even like tried to edit before. It's an art. It's. <laughs> I could tell you weren't gonna be good at it. <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> at least I'll let you try. I don't have an artistic brain. Let's be real. I don't. But I could follow a pattern. If there were patterns to be followed, I could do that. You can use my city internet to upload, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Ryan. (laughs) We might have to do that. (laughs) Zodiac, that's one of the... Yeah. Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal and Downey. I don't remember Robert Downey Jr. being in it. Is he the cop? I think so. I would bathe in caramels if I could. <laughs> uh, it would be hot. In order to get it that liquid, you'd have to be pretty hot, Cleon. Yeah, he didn't, like, he was, te- I was like, okay, teach me how to edit some things. Like, so I could do rough cuts for him, just to make it go faster <laughs> for him. This is only specialized in serial killing. Oh, yeah. he He's like, push this button, and then click here. And then push this button and click here. And push this button and click here. He didn't tell me what the buttons were really doing. He just... I did, too. Quit. You just forgot. No, so you're saying you're I like, didn't tell you. C is cut. P is slice. Cut, slice, cut, oh, slice. That's not even right. I don't... Well, whatever. Uh, I didn't know what the difference between cutting and slicing is. Like, what is it? That sounds the same. Those are synonyms. Cut and slice are the I same. That word. Something like that. It's very Eagle confusing. Fang Karate. I know you guys have seen Tyler Perry's Medea movies, right? I actually haven't. I don't think I ever did see those. Maybe the first one? There's like 20 Medea movies at this point, right? <laughs> I I never saw them because I had seen like all of the Big Mama's House movies, you know? So I was like, man, probably close to the same thing. <laughs> a guy dressed up as a woman. Right, yeah. Candyman with a caramel giveaway would be sweet. See what I did there? <laughs> She has not seen The Godfather. That's on our list. 
Now uh, that you've had some time to let it sit, has your opinion on the ending of The Mist changed? I understand how the ending is good. Like, I understand how, from a filmmaking, storytelling standpoint, it's so impressive. I still don't love it, just because it's so depressing. But, um, but from, like, a storytelling standpoint, I understand how, like, Stephen King would have said, wow, that was a better ending than what I even wrote. Not as predictable. It was not as predictable as him just being eaten by a friggin' monster, right? But, uh, we've seen Donnie Darko. He made me watch that a couple years ago. You keep saying I make you watch these movies. Well, like... you do. They're movies that I would not choose to watch myself. And then he, like, convinces me that they're not going to be scary. And then we watch them, and they're very scary. And he's just... He's done this multiple times, and it's frustrating. Where's the Twinkie hot dog at? <laughs> Nobody's paid me enough to, <laughs> to eat that yet. <laughs> you haven't set a price. Are you sure? <laughs> what editing program am I using? I use Premiere. Adobe. Adobe, Adobe Premiere. Premier. Thank you for the $2, Ray. The Adobe, I have the Adobe Suite, so Photoshop, all the thumbnails with it, and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Super Troopers. Boys like Mexico. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Guy dressed as a female, Mrs. Doubtfire might have been the first... Well, no, no, no but it uh, might have been the first like comedy intentionally. No, right no. Um, there's one with uh, what's his name? It's on our list. What's it? Tootsie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Dust, like it Dustin hot. Dustin Hoffman. Some like it hot. I I was just thinking that some like it hot might be the. I first. love some like it hot. That's so. Good. That's a funny movie. Yeah. Uh, Dustin Hoffman is Tootsie, right? Would you all watch Game of Thrones on the channel? No, because we've seen it all. God, it's so good though. I'd watch it again till the end. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that bad. Look who's talking. <laughs> Seen it. <laughs> so good, though. <laughs> What's the magic amount? <laughs> I want you to we'll fundraise it in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen something like it, hot. It is, it's a black and white with it's got a what's her name? John Lemon. It's got Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. That's good. a classic. Tootsie, I haven't seen Tootsie. We got is that on our list? Yeah, it is. P Biz with the five dollars. Describe your engagement story. Well, we just had our seven year wedding anniversary on mm -hmm. the eighth. Was that like two weeks ago? Some of you have maybe already heard the story before because we told it. I think on last stream or a stream before or something. It's, um, it was an Easter egg hunt. He had convinced me that his family did an annual Easter egg hunt that was like around town. Like they hid his Easter eggs around town and it was like a scavenger hunt, but with Easter eggs. Um, so I was like, sweet, that's like a super fun tradition. Let's, I'm game, you know? So he invited me and my family to join the, their, Easter egg scavenger hunt. And then we went around town. I was partnered with his sister and I'm very competitive. And so is his <laughs> sister. So we were like, gonna win this. Right. Me thinking I can't let my, you know, I can't, I can't let my boyfriend's sister down. So I gotta like slay it. <laughs> I didn't know that it was all a trap or a setup. Um, so he took me like all around town and then like the last three places were the places that we went on our first date and I did not put it together at all. Wasn't expecting it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Got to the place where we had our first date where we first met for like in person the first time and, and he was waiting there with, a uh, with a ring and an Easter egg. It was pretty cool. And our whole family was there inside the restaurant watching from inside. It's pretty clever, 
and she thought she just got so far ahead. I, I know. I thought I was just like beating everybody. There was so a point bad. where she got to the <laughs> certain clue. Everybody just went to the restaurant. So. I got to the movie theater and like we were the there was like us and then like one other person that was still just kind of playing along for mm. the fun of it. I was like, we are killing people right now, right? <laughs> like, no way anyone else is gonna <laughs> gonna beat us here. Rock is it Rock Guerra? Maybe you or the chat can help me name this movie. All I remember is the ending. People trapped in a school, killer monkey, guy kisses dead girlfriend. I got nothing wrong. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what the hell you're talking about. People trapped in a school, a killer monkey? Guy kisses get dead girlfriend. Yes, if this would if a bar engagement story would have been a movie, you would have I would have it. guessed it, yeah. right? I would have figured Hatch it out. I should have figured it out when it went like at the very end it was like the bowling last alley movie theater restaurant. Just didn't even pick it up. Shockma. Is that what you're thinking of, Rock Guerra? Shockma? Dunstan checks in. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Shockma. Is it Shockma? Is that I've never heard of that. Never heard of it. Or Monkey is Shine? That, is that a Bollywood movie? <laughs> Recommendation for one movie, switch seats. He reacts to the movie, she wears the cowboy hat. <laughs> what do you think about like for like Valentine's Day that I would would switch it up or something yeah. like that? Doing like got, a rom com that he hasn't seen on Valentine's. You got to find a movie I haven't seen though. <sighs> That's worth watching. Well, worth watching. You make me watch lots of movies that aren't worth <laughs> watching, but I watch them anyways. All of them think they're they're worth you watching. <laughs> Don't think so. Even Jason goes to hell. No. Half the people in chat love that. Father of the Bride. Oh. I freaking love that movie. I haven't seen the original original, but the Steve Martin one is the best. Bubba Hotep, that's a good one. Did you want to go get a Twinkie and a hot dog? Must I? <laughs> How many likes we got? Only got 138 likes. Maybe you want to do like a like goal if you get if we get to like 200 likes. She'll eat a Twinkie hot dog. Yeah, I could go prep it. Alright, I'll go I'll go prep one. I don't can we get to two hundred likes? There's currently two hundred and eighty people watching and we have hundred and thirty nine likes. If you hit the like button, she'll eat a tweaky hot dog. <laughs> we got we got packages to open too, so I'm about to start that. Once she gets back up here, we'll open packages. <clears throat> <clears throat> I got easy cheese. But you're going to have to talk her into topping it with that. All right. What are my opinions on UFOs? They are real. The truth is out there. All right. My favorite TV show of all time is X-Files, so. Are we at? Oh my God, we're at two hundred twenty-six. That was too easy. I didn't think it'd be that easy. You guys all just click the like button. I gotta do more incentives for that. It just refreshed. It was like one thirty. We have not seen Halloween Kills yet. We could have watched it because we have Peacock, but I wanted to uh, wait until the whole trilogy was out and kind of watch them all back to back to back. Right. And Ralph, we are watching Die Hard for Christmas. I think that's... It's so far ahead in the polls, I don't think it's going to get caught. So, But, chat, the, Die Hard will be the first movie we've both seen multiple times but the first time we've ever watched a movie again 
for you guys. What kind of reaction do you guys want? What kind of what kind of video do you guys want? Do you want more mystery science theater kind of commentary or what? I'll just let me know what you want in chat. We'll definitely have a uh, like a Valentine's themed uh, horror movie to watch around Valentine's Day. It's like My Bloody Valentine. I think there's a couple other ones too. Yeah, our Christmas movies are going to be The Long Kiss Goodnight and Die Hard Rewatch. Happy <laughs> Test Dallas for Valentine's Day. Die Hard trivia you've heard about? Fright, uh, the original Friday Night is on our list. And we have seen Arrival, yeah. Um, I was actually surprised Long Kiss Goodnight won our Christmas uh, poll with The Ref, Fat Man, Reindeer Games, The Night Before on it. But that is winning our... We still have six days left, so if you guys want to vote on Christmas movies... I don't think anything could catch that unless a lot of you are fans of something else, like Reindeer Games or something. <clears throat> Serendipity. I think I've seen that. I'll have to look I'll have to double check to see if I've seen it. You want a drunk reaction to Die Hard? <laughs> Watch Die Hard in Japanese. Uh, I don't know about that one, Cleo. Uh, we'll, we will eventually get to Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, but we will have a poll on Monday for uh, between Krampus, the Naughty Cut, and Black Christmas. Where's the missus? She's probably microwaving a hot dog to put inside of a Twinkie. She better not cut the Twinkie until she gets up here, though. That's part of the... She's got to put it right here. Cut the Twinkie. Put the hot dog in it. Right? She's got to prepare it in front of you guys. I can't text her because she left her phone up here. <laughs> Ghostbusters, Joseph. That's a big Twinkie. Yeah, Memento would be strange to edit. Holy cow, Billy. It would be a fun to movie to watch, but that would be... Man, I don't even know how I would edit that. Other than just... <laughs> Just do it as normal, but it'd be really weird. <laughs> oh, good. And you didn't... Oh, you did cut it. I cut it. Okay. Why? Just put it right Was there. I not supposed to? I wanted you to cut it for him, but... Well, I didn't feel like bringing a knife up here. She did microwave a hot dog, though. Yeah, it's all curled now. I think I microwaved it too long. Somebody in the chat suggested just warming it, because, like, hot... Hot dog grease with a with cream might not be good, but we'll let it air out a little. Did we hit our our mark? Randy Rodriguez. Die hard in a foreign language, but you both have to try to remember the actual lines or make up new ones. Huh? I was asking them how what kind of commentary do they want? Oh, I have to make up for die hard. Like what kind of Reaction oh. do they want for Die Hard since we've seen it? It's going to be our first ever rewatch. <laughs> sausage is supposed we to got be cold. To, we, you went downstairs. We're, we're at 250, 253 likes. So. It's supposed to be cold? It's supposed to be cold? Is it supposed to be cold? I don't know. Are you sure? Do I'll a poll. He... Put up a poll. <laughs> cold or hot? I, I've got cold ones downstairs too, you know. It's 
it's I before E. How do you spell wiener? W E I. Why is it never I before E except after C? I swear that that rule is never right. <laughs> All right, there's your pull. <laughs> Cold Creek Manor. Have you ever seen that? I've not seen it. Well, hi, howdy. Somebody's like, it smells like hot dogs up here. up here. Smells like hot dogs. No. Just rotate your chair away. There he is. He's a good boy. <clears throat> oh, there's a hot dog plate in the way. Can you see him now? Come here. He's a good boy. Come on. Oh. <laughs> he just wants a hot dog. <laughs> oh. Come here. Come here. You got dirt on your nose. What have you been doing? Come on, give me a look. I'm like, I'm like, I like it right here. Where is the neither? Hot dogs don't belong in Twinkies option. <laughs> I just got an email saying, you got to eat the Twinkie Wiener sandwich, Lady and Tramp style. <laughs> that might get us kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> 77% say hot, so you're good. All right. Ugh. Well, since we're at 259 likes, do we have to get the 300 now for her to eat it? She's got it prepared. If we get the 300 likes, she will eat it. All right. There you go. 300 likes, and I will That's take 40 more likes. Last time I asked for likes, you guys, of course, you probably all liked it, right? There's not. Is there 40 new people in here since I said that? Let's be clear. I will take a bite of it. I will not eat this whole oh, thing. Oh, you got to eat the whole I thing. Can't no, eat I'll that take whole a thing. bite, too, if you eat take a bite. Right. Oh, yeah. he'll take a bite if I take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't finish the Twinkie hot dog, your dog will polish it off. Absolutely. He'd love it. He would love it, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. you got dirt on your nose. You've been digging. Huh. You're not supposed to dig. All right, we're going to open our first package. This is from Kevin Schultz from Wisconsin. Another t-shirt for you. I don't mind a cold hot oh, dog. Oh, you're going to like this one. Oh. Oh, Yellowstone. Dutton Ranch. All right. Thanks, Kevin. This is great. Oh, yeah. We'll wear that tomorrow night when we watch it. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Thanks, Kevin. <clears throat> so wheat. 281. Oh, Last time close. I looked at it, it jumped like 80 likes and like a. I just realized your other wall isn't a green screen. Nope. It's a retractable. It's, it's a one of those up and down ones. What's the brand of it? Oh, El Gato. It's a puppy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Except for he was digging. Yes. I'm sure who this is from. Put that on a shirt. I don't mind a cold hot dog. <laughs> we got more movies. Guess who they're from? Marcus. Okay, I lied. Sue me. <laughs> from Marcus. There's six more movies in Marcus. here. Marcus. Oh my gosh. We literally don't have any more space for movies in our house. The Andromeda Strain, which I've, I've I have. heard of that. I have the, they did the remake of this. This is Michael Crichton, who did Jurassic Park. Um. The original movie of it. I have the remake of it that came out like five years ago. Native like New Mexican, thank you for the five dollars. I before E except when your foreign neighbor Keith receives eight counterfeit beige sleighs from feisty caffeinated weightlifters. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> A whole bunch of ones that don't follow rules. Thank you. <laughs> We're at two ninety. Two ninety likes. Evil Dead one and two. I actually already have this in four K for both of these. We don't have to do a movie giveaway. Evil Dead. We might have to do a movie giveaway. Oh, a movie giveaway. December. We'll give away caramels and movies. Oh. It's a Twinkie Wiener sandwich, not a Twinkie hot dog. You're right. T Twinkie Wiener sandwich. It's hard to say. Say that five times fast. Okay, this is the U.S. I, was just, I thought I saw a region. On the <laughs> Good old Elgato up and down thing. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you called it? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember what's it called—a screen and a, a green screen, an up and down screen. I don't know what it's called. What? This is a weird title. Lorenzo's Lorenzo. Oil. Oh, George Miller. Lorenzo's from the director oil. of Mad Max. Lorenzo's Oil. Lorenzo's Oil. That sounds so gross. That sounds like an X-rated movie. 
<laughs> with Susan Sarandon and <laughs> Nick, Nick Nolte. Nolte. <laughs> I've never like even heard of that. Rom-com, to be honest. Roller coaster. I've never heard of this one. Universal Pictures. Nobody I know in the. Oh, Henry Fonda's is in it. Take Roller coaster. The ride in Sense Around. What the fuck does that mean? It's probably some new. Sense Around, like some new kind of sound. Surround sound. Nineteen seventy-seven. Great. Roller coaster. <laughs> Can't wait. That's. <laughs> three hundred. Then we hit it. We hit the three hundred. Three hundred one. Holy cow! 302! Oh gosh. My hot dog's juicy. This is gross. To... <laughs> <laughs> Ringu! The original ring from Japan. Ringu. How much, how much more X rated our channel could get than that? Stick it on the inside of Twinkie with the cream. And then Diane Lane. I just realized Diane Lane looks a lot like Carrie Coon. Carrie who? The girl from uh, um, Leftovers. Okay. Untraceable. Colin Hanks is in this too. Oh. Twilight. Billy Burke. Billy. Mm -hmm. He's in Twilight. All right. Thank you, Marcus. You're cheese. Do we got to do the cheese thing? Do we have to? <laughs> I don't like the cheese <laughs> I don't by think, itself. I don't think we can get another 50 likes for cheese. <laughs> I don't think we can. Or a super chat for cheese. Twinkie wiener sandwich. Oh my god, that hot dog is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. What is this? Cats a stiff wiener? What does that mean? Can't skip the easy cheese. Ooh. Yes, cheese. You have to do the cheese. All right. Winning for the cheese, I guess. I'm going to squirt out the hard chunk. <laughs> Ho mm. Hopefully there's enough in that. I've been kind of using it a lot lately. I think it's okay if there isn't enough in that, actually. Sorry, Sawyer. My apologies, sir. Almost did you, lost did it. you get cheese on him? No, it just almost knocked him over with my chair. <laughs> get this out of my way. No cheese. The goofy movie just for the cheese scene. Yeah. It's a leaning tower of cheese, -a, right? <laughs> That is Polly Shore. I love a goofy movie. <sighs> okay. This looks so gross, you guys. <laughs> Instant regret. Don't forget the puke bucket. <laughs> no, we're not dipping it in milk. That is a <laughs> hard no for me. <laughs> LOL, squirt, squirt out the hard chunk. So appetizing. <laughs> oh my god. Cleon, no. Not doing the the milk. <laughs> she is thinking about this hard. I thought we were doing it together. Oh, we're not doing it like that. No. I'll take a bite if you take a bite. Well, I'm not going to lady in the trampet with you, but... All right. Are you okay? I thought she was spitting it out. So here we go. It's not bad. I'm gonna choose my mustache. You it's really that. not bad. Can you taste the cheese? You can't. You can't taste the cheese. It adds to the hot dog. The fact that the hot dog fits the Twinkie is killing me. It's the perfect size too. <laughs> you guys, not bad. So weird. How do you get to finish it? I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. 
That was hot. <laughs> Take another bat. Bite. As a vegetarian, I cannot imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grossed out, but thoroughly entertained. You're welcome. I taste more Twinkie than hot dog, I think. Yeah. I like it. I don't know that I, I mean, I'm not going to like, it's too far to say I would intentionally do this on a regular basis. But for you guys, I'd do it again. And how do you like it? Come here. Come here. Come eat it. You gotta show them that you're gonna eat it. Come here. You ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, so good. So good. <clears throat> oh, he ate the hot dog first. He's not so sure about the Twinkie. You got cheese on the floor. Turkey. He All right. Spitting it out. Oh, there's a nut in there. But in the rip it. Good boy. Good boy. All done. Good boy. Oh, from Carb Six. Just a little something to help open packages. The little one is for the misses. Yes, the turquoise is real. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you in the next one. Kenneth. All right. A fried version with a better cheddar? What's a better cheddar? Like it's the crackers? Better cheddar crackers? Ooh, Valley Fork Cutlery from Newark, New Jersey. Open this end, it says. Love a knife. We got a bunch of knives now. Oh, it's in a fancy bag. Use a knife to open a knife. Oh, wow, this is... That is a beautiful knife. Look at those beautiful lines. Damascus. All right. You can see all the the lines in it. Mine too. So pretty. Who sent us this? Kenneth, Carb Six. Kenneth, thank is he around? you. Carb Six, this is amazing. What beautiful knives. Thank nice you so sheath much. For it. I love pocket knives. Mine's got some turquoise down here. It's real turquoise, too. I feel like... Mm. Nice oiled leather. This is definitely, like, handmade from somebody's forge. Like yeah, this looks like it's... Uh, homemade, homemade, homemade knives. Homemade forge, right? Yeah. This is so cool. That's really It's cool. definitely not, like, machine-made at all. Doesn't look like a store-bought. It's beautiful. It looks like somebody cut the meat. Thank you so much. Awesome. Carb 6, this is great. It's not Damascus? Where are the lines at? It's some sort of beautiful heating way to do it. Oh, we've yeah. watched it on the uh, Fortune Fire. Fire. Eat, we heat it. Special way you gotta heat it and draw it out. Layering the, the metals together and then heating them and then drawing them out. And... That's not a knife, that's a spoon. It's gorgeous. Valley Forge color. It is Damascus. That one says it Damascus is. blue knife. Oh, this says Damascus on it too. Damascus legacy blade. It all it's all Damascus. There you go. Oh, Who this, said it wasn't? This is a uh, high quality Damascus steel, black horn and blue turquoise. There you go. Very cool. Thank you so much Carp 6. Definitely needs a sharpener. All right. <clears throat> this knife's kind of big. A Tennessee toothpick. <laughs> I, I feel like opening a bag with this is like overkill. Yeah. Right? Yeah, sure is. I love Crocodile Dundee. Oh, man, I love it. I, I don't even know where it is. Ah! I love it when they when he offers to oh, share his bat with him. This nah, might be from... needs garlic. 
Grandpa, this is for you. Ooh, t-shirt time. Another custom. Is this from Grandpa? He's the one who's been sending you custom yep, t-shirts. Custom t-shirts. Scary cat. Scary cat. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You say that like once a scary oh, movie. No. They sure do. Thank you. Oh no. Oh, we got a, a letter here from Jackson, Mississippi. S from Steve. Steve. <laughs> you know you guys are OGs when your fans send you knives. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the Twinkie hot dog, Big P. It's on video, um, though. It's You can go back and watch it. It was just like three minutes ago. It was good, too. It was. I took two bites. It was good. All right. Ever since I've been watching people's reaction videos, I've noticed how their ranks keep growing. Some are better than most, and I find myself gravitating toward the same few. As you may have guessed, yours is the one I watch most often. I'm pushing 70, although I still feel I'm in my 20s. I don't have much disposable income to join your Patreons, but I still wanted to give you something back. I've noticed that virtually everyone shares reaction videos to the same movie. Here is a short list of movies that I have not seen reactions to. If you don't take suggestions from non-patrons, I'll understand. I get at East... At at least I got rid of... At least I got rid of gnawing on my brain when I can't shake something. Maybe you could use the list for your patrons to vote on. Here are a few in no particular order. The Villain, starring Kirk Douglas, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Anne Margaret. One of Arnold's earliest movies, which is why he didn't get top billing. If you have trouble finding it, look under the title. Oh, Cactus Jack. Okay. I've heard that. Space Cowboys, starring Clint Eastwood, Tommy Lee Jones, Donald Sutherland, and James Garner. Six test pilots who didn't make the space program are tasked with repairing a Russian satellite that just happens to use U.S. design. The Thin Man, based on the book by That's Michelle cool. Hammett, starring William Powell and Myrna Loy, made in 1934, just after Prohibition ended, a lot of drinking, a light hard script, and spawned five sequels. It pioneered the final scene where the detective brings the suspect together before exposing the murder. The Maltese Falcon, also by Hammett. Humphrey Bogart's in that. The African Queen, another Bogart classic with Catherine Hepburn. Casablanca. Have you seen Casablanca? I've seen Casablanca. Mm -hmm. Considered by some of the greatest movies of all time. American Graffiti, George Lucas' early film. His second film after THX 1138, I believe. Starring Richard Dreyfuss, Ron Howard, Cindy Williams, Wolfman Jack, and a very young Harrison Ford. Liar Liar, one of Jim Carrey's best movies. Big Trouble, little known movie. Not Big Trouble in Little China, just Big Trouble with oh. Tim, Tim Allen and Rene Russo. Oh. Destination Tokyo, starring Cary Grant. Secondhand oh, Lions. Starring Robert Duvall and Michael Caine. Have you seen that one? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, it's kind of a young adult movie, I would say. Like, I think I, I'm picturing the video cover, but I don't know that I saw it. I think Shia LaBeouf's in that, too. Maybe not. Uh, Black Sunday, starring Robert Shaw, Bruce Dern. Thriller cashing on Shaw's popularity after Jaws. Seven Year Itch, starring Marilyn Monroe and Tom Ewell. Classic Monroe comedy. Swashbuckler, starring Robert Shaw, James Earl Jones, Bo Bridges, Peter Boyle, and Guinevere Bajo. Bajo? Genevieve. That's what I said. Another movie starring Robert Shaw, as this time as a pirate. Oh. Robin Anna Mar Sean Connery, Audrey Hepburn, and Robert Shaw. I think you like Robert Shaw. Right? Quint from Jaws. I love Quint from Jaws. Um, middle aged Robin Hood and Little John return from the Crusades with King Richard. Robert Shaw plays the Sheriff of Nottingham. Time After Time, starring Malcolm McDowell and Mary Steenburgen. H.G. Wells invents a time machine and finds himself chasing Jack the Ripper to modern day San Francisco. Sky High, starring Kurt Russell. Have you seen that? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. He plays a superhero like at a little, high school. Like a little yeah, kid yeah, movie. Yeah, it's like a Disney yeah. movie. And Batman, the movie starring Adam West. The original Batman movie with Adam West. No, I haven't seen it. I don't think she's seen that one. These are just a selection out of my own collection. I could easily give you a list of many times this size. And this is the movie, my favorite movies I wanted to share. Apologize for the typos. I had a stroke last year, and I'm typing includes mistakes. You should see my handwriting. 
<laughs> well, Thank Steve, you, you did Thank a great you, job. You did a great Thank job. You. And I'm excited to add those to our list. If Some of them are already on there, but I've not heard of some of those. So that'll be awesome. All Thank right. you, Steve. Um, the girl is a twin of my ex ex-wife you look identical i showed her 14 year old kid a picture of you and he and he thought it was his mom <laughs> crazy how much you look like i look i look like your ex-wife i guess that's what he said i'm sorry or do you like her <laughs> <laughs> i'm sending you guys a bazooka it'll be there next monday <laughs> oh this is from brett Oh, Brit. All right. That one looks my size. Yeah, it's yours. Um, I'm trying to remember what movie this from. It looks, uh, karate. Oh, this is a new movie coming out, yeah? Paper Tigers. Oh yeah, Paper Tigers. I remember, I was trying to remember. Paper what, Tigers. What it was about. Thank you, I think Brett. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I feel like I just um, saw a, something for it recently. Yeah, Yuji's in it. Thank you, Brett. This is awesome. Paper Tigers. He got me a, I think a hoodie. Oh, cool. No, it's just a sweatshirt. There we go. Ooh, crew neck, love it. Paper Tigers. Awesome. I think it's on. I was trying to figure out how you could watch it. We'll have to watch it. Oh, it's a little there. It's pretty cool. It is cool. Awesome. Thank you, Brett. Do we miss any super chat since we started eating the hot dog? Is your ex-boyfriend's wife the ex-wife of that other guy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, no. oh, oh, okay, miss <laughs> You're the same person. <laughs> you look like my ex-boyfriend's wife. Okay. <laughs> He's not your ex-boyfriend, is he? <laughs> Just kidding. Did you see Ray's super chat? Mrs. No. Free alien reaction? This is stupid. No one's going to watch this. Miss is now eating a hot dog Twinkie with cheese for people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ray. <laughs> Boy, things really come full circle, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> this is from eBay. Ooh, eBay. You're, you look like my boyfriend's ex-boyfriend's girlfriend's ex-wife. <laughs> Real nice. Thanks. It smells good. I think this is a shirt for you. All right. has nothing to do with TV or movies, but the missus will look good in maroon and will hopefully get her in a lot more college... Uh, will hopefully get her a lot more college shirts. Cheers, Chris. Texas A&M. Maroon? Oh, All Texas right. A&M. I do look good in maroon, don't I? Go. Thank you. Thanks for the shirt. Texas A&M. Thank you, Chris. That's awesome. Thanks, Chris. Almost 100 years of... It does smell clean, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. This is from Ricky in Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Viewership is going to triple since the Twinkie hot dog. <laughs> it fucking better. <laughs> Language? Sorry. Letter. She's a 12 now. Want me to read it? Sure. My name's Rick. I live in Georgia. I recently subscribed to your channel on YouTube after... Watching y'all react to some of my favorite movies. I was subscribed to another channel similar to yours, however, you, what made switch to you guys full time. 
So y'all actual res actually respond to your subscribers after leaving a comment. That's a major plus in my book. I have enclosed 12 movies for y'all to react to. If y'all haven't reacted to these, if y'all haven't already reacted to these movies, keep for yourself. Hope you'll enjoy them. And I'll be looking forward to watching y'all's reaction to them soon. Y'all, gosh, that Georgia, I love it. Everything's <laughs> y'all, love it. Oh, one of these movies y'all can react to for a Halloween special. Once again, thank you for everything y'all do. I'll keep watching. P.S. Possible shirt design. You, me, and the movies. P.P.S. If you want to make a short video on YouTube opening this, yeah, that would be that. that would be great. The pointing, the arrows. You, yeah. me, movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he sent us Back to the Future, the trilogy. Which I think we have like uh, eight copies of this. Already, I, we but... own it in every version yeah. format possible. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Leprechaun. We actually have a reaction hey. to Leprechaun, if you guys didn't know. It was one there of the first movies reaction. you watched. And that's we'll be seven, watching. That's the seven movie collection. Yeah, this has all of them. So we'll be able to watch this for Leprechaun 2 and 3 when we get to that this year. <laughs> I swear. All right, Brandon. <laughs> and then Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2. Awesome. Thank you. Rick, thank you so much. Thank this you, is Rick. so great. It's awesome. We have seen all of those. Except for Leprechaun. Except for, oh, we haven't seen all of Lepre Leprechauns. We've seen Leprechaun 1, but oh. we will watch the other Leprechauns every year around, oh. what is that holiday? St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> what is that holiday that <laughs> Leprechauns are about? But that's Saint so Patrick's nice Day. of you. Thank you so much for sharing your movies with us. And, um, and you know, I feel like we're, we're at a lucky point where we can respond to all of the comments that we get mm -hmm. or respond to the ones that you know that we feel like we have responses to and um i think that's the benefit of being a little bit smaller than some of the other bigger streamers but thank you so much and we try we try to engage with all of our viewers as much as we can thank you so much this is from the queen of england a queen of england yeah it's got her face on it damn we're getting um, big, you guys. Queen of England is liking our stuff now. James Kennedy from Belfast, the United Kingdom. Cool. UK. Love it. I swear all the boxes we get from the UK end up looking just like this. I don't Taped extra extra. I wonder if like little, customs has and a to, little smushed. Has to do that or something. They gotta squish it really good <laughs> and then tape it up extra tight in order for it to make it through customs. Gotta like push it down, make sure it's not a bomb or something. <laughs> Here's a letter. Got some okay. foam egg in here. Somebody, you wrapped it good. You wrapped real good. You, me, and the movies. I'm James Kennedy from Belfast, Ireland. I sent you candy before. Hope you enjoyed it. I did, except for the rose thing. That was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> I've sent you some more. And a Christine 1958 Plymouth Fury model car. Hope you like it. And maybe you can react to Christine sometime. It's my birthday on November 28th. Could you both wish me a happy birthday? Thanks. Thank you, James Kennedy. James, this is awesome. He sent us more stuff. Yeah. You didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. Ugh. And yeah, we're going to react to Christine at some point. Oh, he sent us more of the snacks yes. we like. He sent us more candy. More snacks. More snacks. Oh, my God. These were the best. Oh, you sent us another flavor. We got the nice and spicy last time, and we both really mm. like that. The ribbon saucy this time. Oh, man, James, thank you. Oh, you're going to love this. Poo drops. Poo drops. Yum. Glad I didn't put my braces back in. I was just about to do that, too. Oh, so glad we opened this. Milky bar. Oh. It's already opening this thing. Crunchy rocks. There's a bunch of stuff in here. After eight, orange and mint. You're not gonna like that. I'm gonna love it. You like I don't orange like stuff. orange. I love orange. I'll try it. Starburst. What are these? Never heard of it. What if they taste different since they're from 
Apparently. They have juicy stuff in it. No, Are Starburst in other countries different than it's Starburst? Just a, it's just a poem. Black currant flavor. Oh. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, there's a new flavor. Starburst from Ireland. You mean the poopies. <laughs> a whispa. A munchies. You guys, knickknacks is where it's at. Crispy Knick butterscotch. Are so good. Not a sponsor, but I will take a sponsorship Ooh, from you, Nick. A wisp of gold. Mm. Mini snowballs. Like melted milk ball or something? Yeah, they're like white chocolate, though. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, man. Where's that? Desk room. And then, um, chili chocolate. Alright. That looks hot. Warning! Hot! Warning, chili chocolate challenge. How much heat can you handle? Mild, spicy, fiery, ferocious. Hmm. Milky bars and crunchy rocks. Huh. UK needs to work on their candy names. <laughs> <laughs> I not forget anything. All this bubble wrap. Who drops may be worse than Twinkie hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try them. Let's try them all. <sighs> you send us food, we'll eat it. That's our new motto. Put that on a shirt. All right, crunchy rocks. Did you cut yourself? I put my finger in like the, the cardboard. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I can't break it, so I guess I just have to eat it. Oh, a Christine car, yeah. Yeah. We haven't watched that. It's on our list. It's on our it was on our it was on our John Carpenter poll. Oh my. But um it's the fog one. Not good? Ooh. The name fits. Crunchy rock. Are they hard? Yeah. Or... My sensitive Burger. teeth. Hmm? It's like I like got a bunch of crunch, but crunchy. it's like a heat farm meets a bunch of, bunch of crunch. Yeah, that's good. The, the chocolate's good. Off-brand soup with the nine ninety nine. Any plans for Mars Attacks? Have you seen Mars Attacks? No. I don't think she has. I think we'll uh, we'll definitely watch that. Yep. I've seen it. She hasn't. You mean the food. New channel. Put it up. You Put mean, it on the list. You mean the food. You mean the foodies? We will definitely be watching Christy. That's cool. And James. Thank you, James. The 28th. I gotta put it on my calendar. Happy birthday. What comes out on the 28th? Uh, we've already recorded it. No, we already recorded what comes out on the 28th, so we can't give you a shout-out. It's a Sunday. I'll be Bly. Bly. Bly it's, Manor. It's actually the Bly I just edited today. Oh, <laughs> man. But it's happy up. birthday, James. On early access tomorrow. On the 28th. That is amazing. Have you ever had Lego candy? Don't know what it is. Is it like... Is it officially like, branded Lego candy? Or is it like or the just sweet tarts that, looks that like? look sweet tarts that look like Legos? You might not like those because they're a little barbecue-y. Milk Milky Bar Festive Friends. Milky Bar. Looks like white chocolate with more cream filling. Creamy white filled <clears throat> just creamy white. Creamy white filled with crispy pieces. Creamy white filled with <laughs> Oh, oh, they're little individually wrapped fellows. Oh, okay. I like that. Show them the shape you get. Oh, uh, well, bear sitting on some sort of igloo. Some sort of igloo? Like a... I mean, some sort of bear sitting on an igloo. <laughs> you got a bunny. I got a bunny wearing glasses. He's going to be delicious. Is 
It tastes like white chocolate. Yeah, was it supposed to be in it? Creamy white with crunchy pieces or something like that. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> good. Your ki- do your kids get any of these? No. No, actually, whatever is left over, our littlest will probably try to... Yeah. The oldest, deal. she didn't like trying new things. The youngest, you can't not let her try something. She, she wants to try everything. Mm-hmm. And she usually eats a lot. She's our eater. She's constantly thinking about the next thing she wants to eat. Joe, good call. If it's sitting on an igloo, I'd wager it's a polar bear. <laughs> it kind of looked like a panda. Polar bears have more of a distinctive nose, I think. But that would make Why sense. Why would a panda sit on an igloo? I don't know. They're what? European. I'm not sure. European pandas? What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> After eight orange and mint flavor. I, I can already tell you I'm probably not going to like this. But we're trying. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell. <laughs> Orangey. Oh, it did not travel well. Oh, yeah, a little leakage. Got a little spew. I think that's normal. Is mm. that normal? You can smell it. The minty. I, you can smell the mint. All I can smell is the orange. All right. Uh, Manuel with $5 says, I haven't watched either Blind Manor or Midnight Mass yet. Honest opinion, are either in the same league as Hill House? I fear they won't measure up. We've finished Midnight Mass. We won't spoil it for anybody. We haven't finished Blind Manor yet. I don't think you can compare them as equals. I don't think that they're enough alike to put in the same categories as each other. Do you? Uh, even Bly Manor and Hill House, I they're feel so like, different. is so different. They're not even close to, like, just because they... Not even the same type of scare. Just because they start yeah. with the word haunting doesn't mean that they're anywhere in, in the same realm. Of, yeah. They're just... Com- think of them as completely different stories, for sure. Because... They're not anything alike, but they're all good. Yeah. They're all very good. Uh, not as good as Hill House. I mean, Hill House. Hill House yeah. was. Hill House was a masterpiece in yeah. my mind. I I thought it was masterful. I would say it's kind of like. Oh, well, some people might not like the other seasons of True Detective as much as we ap- appreciate all of them. Mm-hmm. But like Hill House is like season one True Detective, and then. They're all just really good individual stories. Yeah. Definitely worth your time. I would definitely watch. I, we're only halfway through Bly Manor right now. Yeah, we got like three episodes left. Yeah, three or four episodes of Bly Manor left. And it's good, though. It's good. Crispy butterscotch. Lily O'Brien's crispy butterscotch. I'm trying the mint orange. Yep. Huh. I'll finish short. You want to take a bite of this? I don't even want it. Individually wrapped, too. Oh, it smells so good. I love orange stuff, so. Oh, God. Mm. It tastes like cough syrup. Oh, it tastes it like tastes orange like, mint. It tastes like cough syrup with chocolate. Ugh. I don't like that at all. I'd eat it. A Twinkie hot dog with cheese over that every day. <laughs> I liked it. It's definitely something I, you don't want to binge eat, though. That's like something you're like, okay, I, tell you, I need some more orange mint. Not for you, but for me. It's not like drinking orange juice and brushing your teeth. Mm. It might be for her. Worse, yeah. Ray Hawkins with $10 says... Watch along with the fans' idea. Private theater, new reaction or reaction. Wouldn't be the first theater I've rented out for a favorite movie. Back to the Future? I've actually been thinking about that a lot. How much fun it would be to do a, like a meet and greet live reaction together yeah. in a theater like that. It'd be like a live riff track. So I went to one of those. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Someday. Maybe when we get popular enough. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever get popular enough. Maybe. If we ever get that popular to rent out a theater. <laughs> right. This just doesn't taste like anything except for chocolate to me. 
Did you taste any butter? I smash? love orange soda. It tastes like orange soda and like that. Well, junior mints. Like you pop a junior mint and you don't drink some orange soda. That's what it tastes like to me. It's gross. I liked it. I like those are good too. Uh, they just taste like chocolate to me. I don't really taste any butterscotch. As if butter wouldn't melt, this little chocolate is super chic. Crispy butterscotch wrapped in milk chocolate. Lily O'Brien just tastes like chocolate with little tiny chunks in it. Good though. Not bad. You want to try a snowball? Hell yeah, I do. I'm going to throw it at you. Yeah, these are Whoppers. They smell like... I don't know, maybe not. When you get that popular, you won't eat Twinkie Hot Dogs for likes? Yeah, I will. I totally will. They're like... Oh my god, they like leave little... It's powdered sugar. It's like powdered sugar on them. Ooh, it a smells whopper. like a Cadbury cream egg. Mmm. Not a Whopper at all. No, Nothing like, like a Whopper. It's, it's like, a Cadbury it's, cream egg. Yeah. Cadbury milk chocolate inside crisp sugar shell with powdered sugar on it. This is a Cadbury egg. Like those little hard ones during Easter time. But it's got powdered sugar on the outside to make it look like a snowball. So Cadbury is cashing in on the Christmas season with snowballs. I think. Let us know if you're from the UK or Europe or wherever has this. Yeah, UK. See, Thumper said, which riff tracks did I go to? I went to Mothra riff tracks. Do they have these all year round or just during the holiday good, winter season? Anymore. They're good. I'd, I'd eat more of these for sure. They smell so good. That's my favorite part about those eggs during Easter time. <laughs> when you get popular enough, you have 346 likes on this video. 352. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sampling all this crap Fabulous. would make me so sick. This Joe. Off-brand soup with 499. Thoughts on doing a podcast or what inspired you to start the channel? I love the content. My favorite in-universe character for your channel is Dave Rob. <laughs> Dave, Dave Rod, not Dave Rob. Dave Rod. That's just a spelling error. <laughs> it might be. All right, poop drops. Tasty. Gotta love Dave Rob though. Nuggets, freshly dropped, sticky and sweet. Um, it's Dave Rod. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote. Maybe. Oh, God, these look disgusting. <laughs> also, somebody asked, would you ever go consider going to a VidCon convention? I've heard of VidCon. That would be interesting to go to. That looks like shit. I thought these were going to be chocolate-covered gummies. They're, they're, they're gummy? just... You're going to hate these. Oh, my God. He does not like gummy things. Oh, God. Cola flavored gummy sweets with goo. Oh God, gooey cherry in the center. I'm gonna hate these. I oh, hate it's cherry. gonna taste like it's like a gushers. Oh, it's like a cherry gushers. Oh God, I'm I'm already dreading this. I've gone to TwitchCon and I've gone to PAX. Look, so. at, they leave a slime behind. I would love to go to a VidCon. They leave a slime behind. <laughs> well, quit squishing them in the bag. <laughs> You guys, it looks literally like this could like have fallen turds. out of somebody's Why are they buckle. filled with red, though? Is like blood in your stool kind of joke? Yeah, if you got red coming in out of your poos, you should see a doctor. Ray Hawkins with the $5. Private viewings yeah. are surprisingly cheap. I've already spent about as much as I did for mine just tonight. <laughs> All right. We'll have to look into it, Ray. Problem is, like, where do you even meet? Right? Like, when your viewership is all over the world or all over the, you know, all over the country, where's a good place? I'm really not looking forward to these. Eat them all at once. Chug, chug, chug. I mean, just let, let's take a look here. Well, they're, they're, they, they feel like a squishy turd. Ugh. Oh. Thoughts, feelings, reactions. Just get it over with. Not that bad. P 
bus lumps. <laughs> They're definitely not something I would be like, I'm going to eat this whole flip and back. She has not seen the Ted movies. A does not taste like cola at all. Do you get any cola flavor there? No, I, I, I can see the orange or the cherry cola flavor. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Dr. Pepper. So the, cho- the, the, the turd is the chalk, uh, the cola flavor, and the red is the cherry. Yeah. Sticky and right. sweet. And also a little gooey. Covered in some sort of weird oil. This is the grossest one. Although the flavor wasn't. As gross as the orange mint, so. Would you eat chocolate-shaped boobies? I mean, yeah. Why not? I'd eat anything shaped like a boobie. <laughs> probably not, though. That's probably... <laughs> you send it, we eat it. <laughs> Manuel, with the $5, what's your essential side dish and dessert for Thanksgiving? Pumpkin pie for dessert and uh, mashed potatoes. St- uh, stuffing. Stuffing's good, too. Love stuffing. My mom makes the best stuffing. So good. Has she seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? We've actually watched the new Bill and Ted recently. I don't think she's ever seen Boga's Journey. Is that the second one? Yeah. No, I haven't seen the second one. Which I like. I like Boga's Journey. These are such a unique flavor. The nice and spicy ones? Because mm-hmm. they're nice and spicy. Mm, they're like that them. sour, like citric acidy, yeah, vinegar, vinegary, spicy vinegar stuff. I do like Crush orange soda. I love me some Crush. They had Crush flavored Pop Tarts a couple years ago. I crushed them. Love those. Remember those? I do. Those were so good. I didn't eat them, but he ate lots of them. <laughs> I ate lots of them. My favorite side dish is sweet potatoes. Lots of marshmallow on top. <laughs> Untrue. My mom makes the best stuffing, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely be watching They Live. John Carpenter's They Live. And uh, Holiday with the seven ninety nine. Would you consider watching both parts of It, the 90s TV movie? Tim Curry was so good and scary as Pennywise, and the reactions would be great. We are going to watch It. All of it. New and old. Old and new. Right. Venice. We've talked circus about Circus peanuts? Are you talking about like Brock's circus peanuts? Love them. Totally delicious. I think we talked about this a couple streams ago. Our plan for when we watch it, we'll watch the 90s part one, and then the new part one, and then 90s part two, new part two. Okay. There are enough... I think they're enough different, like, they're different enough that, yeah, it's worth watching both of them. Dinner rolls, not biscuits, dinner rolls. Well, you're here now, Ajax. Double click that bell, just in case. The best knickknacks are scampi and lemon. That sounds good. Like shrimp? Shrimp scampi? Lemon? That sounds amazing. Mm. I like these knickknacks. I've never heard of them before. They are so good. Better than a Cheeto. Munchies. Oh, we got more. Coco. Yeah, you're more. holding out on me over here. I'm not. I'm just holding. I'm just. I'm He's just, hiding all the snacks. I'm not. They're just sitting over here. I was waiting to open them. Circus peanuts are like the. They're just so unique. Nothing else tastes like a circus peanut or has the texture of it. Oh, this looks like look like a Rolo. It's a square Rolo. Munchies. What they're called? Munchies. Munchies. Square Rolos. No, they're munchy. Oh, not a Rolo at all. <laughs> just kidding. Mrs. Movie's chewing sound is oddly erotic. All right, Cleon. I better not have a <laughs> chewing sound, Cleon. <laughs> A- ASMR. You, me, and the ASMR. I don't understand ASMR. But I have noise issues. There's a crisp biscuit center. They're pretty good. It's almost like a miniature Twix. 
What's in my coldest? I just have a water with some Mio in it. It's I need more of these. Strawberry something. I love the packaging. Strawberry. Right? Packaging's perfect. Tropical. One little bite is just like the perfect size for my mouth. I got these are good. A super sticker on my coldest water tumbler. Munchies for the win tonight. So far. Use code YMTM at thecoldestwater.com if you want some awesome water bottles. They're awesome. I say awesome all the time. Mariah, yeah. I mean, circus peanuts are kind of like stale marshmallows. Except for the texture is totally different. What's a movie your wife has seen and loves that you haven't watched yet? What haven't you seen that I love? Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, Pride and Prejudice. Love that. I'm going to have to watch that for like Valentine's Day or something. Thank you, my urban exploration. For the Australian dollar. I have misophonia. ASMR is a nightmare. Me too, Brandon. Okay, I don't know if it's like, I don't, I've never been clinically diagnosed with it, but I for sure have it because it's. She turns into a demon when I she do. hears che che chewing. I will, I'll cut a bitch. <laughs> My whole family too. Like it's genetic <clears throat> for sure. We've actually seen all of the Mad Max movies. Circus peanuts taste like vanilla, are orange like oranges, and smell like bananas. They're a strange treat. You're right. They do kind of taste like vanilla, smell like or, or look like oranges, and smell like bananas. It's funny. Have you had big red soda? I have. It's good. You wouldn't like it. <clears throat> Not understanding ASMR is how you know you're a normal human being. <laughs> All right, so we have a Wisp from Cadbury, but also a Wisp Gold, which looks like it's Wisp with caramel. Caramel. You have made it, Beanhead. You made it. Circus peanut flavor is banana, and it's delicious. I don't know if it is. Is it banana? I don't usually like banana-flavored things, but I love circus peanuts, so if they're banana... <laughs> New t-shirt idea. I'll cut a bitch. <laughs> Should we watch? Yes, Brandon, that's exactly what happens to me. I go into, like, a fit of rage. Right? My brain just wants to explode, right? I yell at him so hard anytime he chews his popcorn loudly. And when it's on stream, I I control myself really well, right? <laughs> he has to edit still, it out. She still says something once in a while. Am I taking a bite of this? What is this? It's a wisp. A whisper. Whisper. <laughs> Who S with Charleston Chews? I love Charleston Chew. Did you say that? Who S with Charleston Chews? Mm -mm. Oh, she loves Charleston Chew. That's good. It's like arrow. Oh, chocolate. Arrow chocolate. Yeah, it's not chalky. It's got air bubbles in it. I don't like it. You don't like it? Uh, just... It's like arrow. It's it good. doesn't taste bad. It just, I don't like the texture. Fidgeting does it as well. If it's audible fidgeting, yeah, when he's twiddling his thumbs. I don't even hear it. You do, apparently. You need better It's like the like sound of his fingers rubbing against each other. Just She went off on me the other night saying, it sounds like sandpaper. It, it's like... like why? Ugh. You need an uncut version of Oliver Freakouts? <laughs> You guys will be fighting over the bathroom tonight with all these candies and treats. <laughs> <laughs> from Russia. Thanks, Russia. From Russia with, with love. That's a James Bond movie. It is. It's a good one. Best Charleston Chew flavor. Chocolate or strawberry? Or vanilla? Vanilla. To be honest, I think I'd like Charleston Chews if they weren't covered in chocolate. Like, I would love the just the vanilla inside. The chew part? Yep. Not the Charleston. Right, just the like the taffy <laughs> part. I guess it's just vanilla taffy at that point, but still good. One weapon for the zombie apocalypse. Sarah Rose James in with the five dollars. Misses just to thank you for your comments and V for Vendetta saying our girls could never do anything to make me stop loving them. Made me a trans woman smile. Well, that's great, because 
I think that's a parent's job is to never stop loving their children. Unconditional. Atonement. Is that the same book author? (laughs) Brandon, my ex-wife used to shake her leg in bed. My (laughs) ex-wife. Because she shook her leg. You had to get rid of her because she shook her leg. Watch out, sir. What is that called? What? That's like a like a health condition. Restless Red, leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the freakouts? I like that. It's gonna be a bathroom scene from Bridesmaids. <laughs> that wasn't in the bathroom though. That was in the middle of the street. Right. Jason Sum with the nine ninety nine, but no message. Pride and Prejudice and Atonement, both such good movies, right? Cow Tales. That's Beautiful. what a Charleston Chew is. Right? Is a cow tail. No, cow tail is, um, it's like it's caramel, yeah. caramel and taffy mixed together. You never knew they had different flavors of Charleston shoes? Yeah, like strawberry, vanilla, chocolate are the ones I've seen in the store recently. They probably have more than that. I've never heard had a strawberry one. Jason Sum, thank you. I'm not making that up. They have a strawberry, right? Somebody back me up. She has seen Gremlins. She hasn't seen Critters. I have the whole collection ready to watch. Sounds great. Favorite she actually liked Gremlins. Favorite chocolate. That's a hard one. <clears throat> I like Hershey's special dark chocolate and Snickers. What's a your lot. weapon of choice for the apocalypse? Oh yeah. Um uh, Samurai Sword. Samurai Sword? Yeah. Reese's or peanut butter M&M's? Is that Reese's Pieces versus peanut butter M&M's? Now, Reese's Pieces I could just eat forever. Peanut butter M&M's are like... Too rich to eat that that One bag, I'm good. Or half a bag. You could like... What size bag? Just a regular size. Oh, yeah. What's One king size bag? Size obviously, bag <laughs> sharing, but I'm not sharing size. Uh, no, we haven't done Amadeus yet. That'll be on the list, though. I Amadeus, think, right? Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Is that from the movie? Uh, 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 Amadeus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's from that movie, right? No. <laughs> what is that from? We do have Toblerone over here. She hasn't seen Chud. I know that for sure. We didn't used to have Toblerone over here, and then they yeah. just started making it over here or something. Didn't Marcus send us a Toblerone? No, he no. sent us something like that. kind of like that, but... Oh. No, Reese's Classic Peanut Butter Cups versus Peanut Butter M&M's. Oh. Peanut Butter Cup. Oh, I don't know, because an M&M won't melt. Like, Peanut Butter Cup, I feel like as soon as you touch it, it's melting. Which is annoying to me. My favorite Reese's is probably the Easter Bunny. I don't know, maybe the, the, pump, the, or the pumpkin. Egg. The egg. The egg. Or the pumpkin. I, I, feel, I feel like those are the perfect... Chocolate to peanut butter Peanut butter ratio. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, just eat those all year. Yeah, the, the Give Reese's me a pumpkin eggs. right now. Or the Reese's eggs. I, the, I mean, I think the pumpkin is similar enough shape and size that it's, right. they're basically the same. That <clears> song <throat> wasn't in the movie. <laughs> that song wasn't in the movie? A bag of... You could kill a share bag of brownie M&M's? I don't know the... I feel like I've had the the brownie M&M's, but they were just like M&M's. Just a little texture to them, right? Yeah. Venice, bitch, with the 999. Currently watching the Dexter reaction. Started two weeks ago with the show. I know I'm late. Just love your reaction so much. Well, thank you. And I'm glad you're enjoying our reactions. And get through those so you can... Jump into Dexter New Blood. We're actually going to, as soon as we're done streaming tonight, we're going to be watching tonight's episode. should be up on our showtime anytime. So. Yeah, we're going to watch Dexter tonight after this. Frozen Reese's Cup. I don't like biting into hard, cold things. Is that weird? Yeah. Like, I tried freezing a candy bar, but then I couldn't really bite into it, and then made my uh, teeth cold. She performs hard, warm things. <laughs> Good one. Is 
a new Dexter worth watching. Well, there's only been two episodes so far. They've been good, though. Yeah, they've been good. They've been interesting. <clears throat> Depends on how mad you are about the end of the first Dexter. <laughs> yeah. But don't spoil it for Venice. <laughs> it's a bit extreme, Brandon. That's what she said. I like Almond Joy. Warm pizza or cold pizza? Depends on the pizza. Like if it's pineapple pizza, cold. Cold, yeah. I like both. I like both warm and cold pizza. People are going to say, like, don't put pineapple on pizza because we said that. But I'm saying it's America. Put whatever the hell you want on pizza. Also, if you're not in America, it's the world. Do what you want. Matthew Baker, thank you again. If zombie apocalypse happened, would either of you kill the other if turned? Or would you leave them to roam? Oh, no, he. I would definitely kill him if he turned into a zombie. I'd probably, like, put her on a leash and tie her to, like, a clothesline or something. How sweet. Yeah. You'd kill me, right? Like, what's the science of this? Like, can you get infected by, you know, just saying, I'd muzzle you. Jesus. <laughs> You're still my wife and I love you. Jesus. <laughs> That's got to be breaking some sort of laws. <laughs> How many premium movie channels do you subscribe to? As many as we need to. Yeah. To whatever, watch what's Whatever what's we on. have to in order to watch what we want to watch. Ryan says, looked like she liked that soft talk hot dog better. <laughs> <laughs> I used to own a pizza place and quietly judged every customer who put pineapple on their pizza. I w- I'm not going to like seek out to put pineapple on my pizza, but if I'm eating a pizza that happens to have pineapple on it, like I might pick the pineapple off every once in a while, but I'll eat it. Twinkie Hot Dogs, Caramel Giveaway, Sweater Puppies Discussion, Damascus Knives, Dexter Starter Kit, Zombie Fornification, <laughs> fornication. This stream has range. <laughs> Can zombies consent? <laughs> Inception or Interstellar? Um, We've seen Interstellar. Interstellar we watched on our honeymoon. Yep, yeah, on our IMAX. honeymoon. Mm-hmm. And you've seen Inception, I think. Yes, a hot dog is a sandwich. Got bread on both sides. It's a sandwich. <laughs> Plug a pillar. I was lurking while I edit, but that comment about your wife being on a leash on the clothesline had me tying in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I can just picture now. I got a little leash, a muzzle, clothesline. Have we watched any non-U.S. movies? Yeah, we just watched... Parasite. Well, I mean, but we have access to that in the U.S. Have we watched any movies that we can't access in the U.S.? I don't think so. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we've watched any movies. I don't think there... Uh, I don't think we have any movies on our list that... It would be hard to, like, yeah. I feel like you can get most movies in the U.S., can't you? <laughs> Joseph says, one celebrity dead or alive I would have a beer with is Betty White. Oh, for Betty White sure. is on our free pass list. Absolutely. Both of Both us. Both of us. Yep. Yeah. If the not opportunity just, arises. That's not just a beer. That's <laughs> free pass. Free pass. Anything goes. How about anchovies on a pizza? Have you had anchovies on a pizza? No. I've... I don't think I've ever had them on a pizza before. I've had them like on the side and ate one just to try it, but I'd never put it on the pizza. I'd probably do it. I think we, we've talked about free passes a bunch of times. Like, it, the weird thing is all of our free passes are all the same persons. <laughs> uh, Betty White, Paul Rudd, Rachel McAdams. Those are the three. And those are the three, pa- three passes. For we both have. of us. For all three. <laughs> for both of us. You love shrimp on pizza during Lent. Interesting. I've never heard of shrimp on pizza, even during Lent. I don't think that's a thing around here. Hmm. I'd eat that. I don't know. Oh, the pizza place around here has a pizza that has shrimp on it. 
Our, our oldest tried an anchovy, right? Or what did she have? Sardine? Sardine. She had a sardine. And she actually liked it. Mm, she took a bite of it and said, Mmm, this is good. Like, and do then, you want more? No. <laughs> that's how <laughs> that's she like her, her thing for everything. But if she doesn't like it, she'll tell you. So I think she actually liked it. She just didn't want to eat anymore. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. Anchovies are just, they're power potent, right? I mean, it's like eating tuna fish, right? you eat a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza that has vanilla ice cream on top? No. Sounds gross. Like dessert pizza? If it's just dessert pizza, yes. But if it's like a pepperoni pizza with vanilla ice cream on top, no thanks. I mean, I'd, I'd try anything once. I mean, who, who remembers Godfather's dessert pizza? Love Godfather's dessert pizza. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Cherry one. I don't even like cherries on cherry one was good. I like the cream cheese frosting on top. Oh, yeah. Is Betty White 100 in January? Holy cow. Good for her. They add mayo, mustard, and ketchup to their pizza in Brazil? Mustard's fine. We have mustard sauce pizza a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mustard's good. But we should ask <clears throat> Bruno about that. One of our favorite kind of pizzas is mustard, sauerkraut, Sausage. Yeah. Bacon. So good. So good. Onions, too. It's like a hot dog pizza, right? Yeah, it's got, like, Polish sausage. Domino's, Papa John's, or Pizza Hut. He likes Papa John's. He hates Pizza Hut, so we haven't had it. I like Domino's ever too. Since we've been together, I don't really have a preference. I don't think I want to like Papa John's because I think their the texture of their crust is nice. But, but you don't like their cheese. I don't like their cheese. It's like it doesn't melt quite right. It's all crumbly, weird, and then like nine times out of ten, the crust underneath the sauce is all mushy and not good. So I don't know if our Papa John's just sucks or. I just don't like Papa John's pizza that much. But I like the texture of their crust because they're, they're garlic knots. Oh, yeah. I'd eat a whole box of their garlic knots. I love how you get a pepperoni with every pizza. My, yeah, myopic um, Godfather's Pizza doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. There might be some open somewhere. Not around here. I don't know. They, I they went out of business like 20, 25 years ago. Is there still Godfather's Pizza anywhere? I like Domino's pizza, but I don't know why they have to add the garlic sauce to all of their crust. Like, There's still Godfather's Pizza. Some... There is? Yeah. Why the hell did they get rid of it here? Man, Godfather's was good, too. There's not one there. Oh, that's... that's just... Wenatchee? Seattle? There's like three in Montana. Oregon? Bunch in Helena? western Washington. Helena? Some around Portland. Troutdale? We have to drive a while. We're not eating Godfathers. <laughs> Ray, you got two Godfathers? Well, Damn. share, man. Do their dessert pizzas, like, do they still have the fruit dessert pizzas that are so good? You're crazy. Domino's garlic crust is the best part. I just want, like, to taste the crust without the garlic. Like, I want to be in charge of my garlic. Oh, you can ask them to not add the garlic seasoning? Hmm. I should try that next time. Thanks, Diluted. Little Caesars. You know, I had Little Caesars this year for the first time in, I don't can't even <laughs> tell you how long. It was not good. It wasn't, they had the pretzel crust one. It wasn't that bad. Uh, I used to eat Little Caesars all the time. For like a $10 pizza? Uh, it's not bad. Uh, RoboCop comes out Friday. 
It's actually available on our Patreon right now. Oh, yeah. All right, who wants a preview of what's to come in December? Should we talk about what we're watching in December? Mm -hmm. Now, for uh, if any of our granddaddies are around in the chat, um, December's going to be a little bit different for request date. Um, since we're packing all of our Christmas movies into the two weeks um, His Godfather's the blockbuster Christmas, of the pizza world. Yes. Instead of doing one every week. Right? That way we have two weeks of Christmas, the 13 days of Christmas kind of thing. No um, no food allergies here. So we're gonna we're going be, to be doing some special requests on like Tuesday. Like two, two Tuesdays we'll have special requests. But uh, our special request for December from our granddaddies... Uh, Dirty Harry, which is actually coming out early access next weekend. Um, Mother. Soap Dish. Kiss the Girls. And then we also have another request that's been in the queue for a while. Natural Born Killers. Ooh. Those are all of our requests for December. Actually, that one's going to be in by the time we get to January. Um, and then our franchise... Our franchise for December is The Matrix. So, um, that is actually coming out this week on uh, Early Access as well. We have to watch that this week. What? The Matrix. Oh, yeah. So, that's our franchise for December. And then after The Matrix, we'll be jumping into the Scream franchise. And then for Christmas... We have The Long Kiss Goodnight, Die Hard. Now, those aren't, like, certain yet because uh, the poll is still open, but they're so far ahead, I don't think anything is going to get caught. And then um, we're going to throw up a poll on Monday to narrow down, because Black Friday, uh, I keep calling them Black, Christ Black Christmas and Krampus tied in our poll, so YouTube is going to be the tiebreaker. And honestly, I've never seen Black Christmas myself. I've seen Krampus, but we're... There's a new, the naughty cut of Krampus coming out that I've pre-ordered. We'll be watching that, so I'm kind of hoping Krampus wins, because I I would kind of want to watch. Well, don't, the, you're swaying the vote. I, I already you, said that, I kind of want you to vote for Krampus. I, I, vote for what you want I said that watch. on the Patreon poll, and it didn't sway anymore. Vote for what you guys want to see. If it's but, Krampus, great. But it's like, I mean, I feel like Krampus is going to win on YouTube, because YouTube's probably younger. Yeah, I've not seen The Matrix. Nope. She's not seen The Matrix. None of them. And we'll be watching all four movies. So we'll watch all three and then the new one and it comes out on HBO Max. Yeah, Pug, you've been watching Scream as well, so it'll be fun to catch up to you. I've seen them. She hasn't, so. Um, also, our so either Black Christmas or Krampus will be our <laughs> horror Christmas Pretty. movie. And then... On Christmas Day, we'll be watching It's a Wonderful Life because she has never seen it. I've never she seen it. She actually owns own it. it. She I've owns it, but she's it. never actually watched it. I don't know why. I just... So I we'll watch... be watching that. That will be coming out on Christmas Day. I, I always have so many Christmas movies that I want to watch during the holiday season, and I feel like, oh, I can't watch that movie. It's too early. Like, I can't watch it too early in December. And then by the time Christmas gets around, I haven't watched it. And then afterwards, I'm like, well, I can't watch it now. And It's a Wonderful Life just always is that movie. Because um, I, I watch White Christmas so many times, we start watching it on Caramel Making Day, the day after Thanksgiving, and then we'll watch it multiple times. It's my favorite Christmas movie. But It's a Wonderful Life just kind of hits the back burner every single time. Never seen it. Disappointed in myself. You watch the Animatrix. I've actually never seen that. I'm not sure how important that is to the franchise. I know it's like a bunch of short animated films that take place between either Matrix 1 and Matrix 2, but I can't remember. Okay, Scrooge, you guys. I love Scrooge. She she doesn't like... I don't like... The Christmas Carol story. I don't like that story. I don't know why. I hate it in every version that I've ever seen it in, and I've seen it in almost every single version. And I love Scrooge. I like to watch I it every hate year. A Christmas Carol. The story is just annoying to me for some reason. It's the original Black Christmas. There's been a lot of questions for that. Original. We would not be watching the remake. OG always. Caramel making day. 
is the day after Thanksgiving in my house. We make caramels every year. Mm. You guys, it's the best day. And we're watching It's a Wonderful Life in Black and White. Found a copy on Amazon Prime, so. I have a black and white copy downstairs. <laughs> is it Blu-ray? I don't I know. Think it's DVD. It might be DVD, yeah. Looking forward to Witcher Season 2 this December and Spiderway. Spider Spiderway. Spiderway. Spider-Man No Way Home. Thank you for the five dollars, Ray. Yeah, we just watched the Spider-Man trailer. It's pretty good. She thinks it's like I don't really love Spider-Man villains. I think they're just too cartoony or something. I don't know. Pug a pillar. Close your ears. Earmuffs. He's got a Spider-Man tattoo, so you're going to offend him. I I love Spider-Man. I absolutely love Spider-Man. I just don't love the villains, and this one seems to have no. all of the classic Spider-Man villains, so I'm like, mm. no. Just be, keeping so it real. which villains have you liked from Spider-Man? What, what Spider-Man? Because you, she's seen all the Spider-Mans. Yeah. Um, Which one's your favorite Spider-Man movie? Into the Spider-Verse? Maybe. That's one I like to rewatch because it's just so good. Is that the Miles Morales one? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I like the first one with the new guy, too. It's... Um... Did he have his own yet? Has he had his own movie? Yeah, he's had two. This is going to be his third one. can't remember. Remember the first one's got um, Iron Man in it? Yeah, that's one I like. And the second one's got Mysterio, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, I didn't like Mysterio very much. I think I liked the first one with the uh, what's-his-name is. The villain was okay. Vul he, like, Vulture. Yeah, because he like Michael made Keaton. his own. He wasn't as, like, I don't know. Weird. I didn't mind him as much. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Ock is a great villain. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I don't think she's seen the old trilogy in a while. The, the Tobey Maguire ones. Really I did not like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. You didn't? Mm -mm. Have you seen all three? I think so. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't like him, you watched the other two? After watching the first one? Well, maybe I haven't. I mean, it's been a while. Like, those have been not been out for a while, so can't remember all of them. Cleon says, if he gets a Mrs. Movies tattoo, where should I get it? Just on your right butt cheek, Cleon. Obviously. Where else would you get it? It'd be hard for you to look at it, though. Bye, P-Biz. Thanks for hanging out. Which Marvel Disney shows? Like the little kid cartoons? We haven't watched what... No, I think they're talking about like um, WandaVision. And, oh, WandaVision. We watched WandaVision and um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We haven't watched What If yet, which I've heard is really good. I liked WandaVision a lot. <clears throat> Falcon and Winter Soldier is um, fine. Hawkeye comes out in the month. We can no longer be friends. <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest. Toby best Peter, Andrew best Spider, Tom best mix of both. I almost have it flipped. I think Toby's better as Spider-Man than Andrew, and I think Andrew's better as Toby, but I think Tom is best than both. Wait. What? Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. She's you've seen Aquaman. Yeah, I think to if like if you're gonna do it that way, I think I'm I'm with you. I think Tobey Maguire might be the best. Mass no, no Spider Man. No, I think he's the best Peter because he's so boring. <laughs> and that's Peter. Yep, Peter Parker's just a boring nerd. Toby McGuire, boring nerd. Nailed it. I'm with you, Matthew. Alright. That makes sense. I get your argument. I do agree that I think Tom is is my favorite Spider Man. Maybe I just like Andrew's Peter because he's got Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy. Yeah, I think that's why. why. Yeah. I like Emma Stone better than 
Kirsten Dunst. Land Before Time. Our girls love The Land Before Time, which is so nice because we both loved The Land Before Time yeah. also. They like watching the sequels because they have the songs in them. Because the first one doesn't the music, have singing. Yeah. They like watching The Land Before Time 2 on repeat because it has the Chomper. Song. You guys remember Chomp. For all those Land Before Time kids out there, Chomper. And the songs in part two are pretty decent. We have seen Arrested Development. The Kenobi TV series is the only Star Wars I'm looking forward to right now. Have they shown a trailer for that? I did not see something pop up for Disney Plus Day. You want to see Emma Stone as Spider-Gwen? Me too. That would be awesome. She would be a great Spider-Gwen. <laughs> You alright, Pug a Pillar? <laughs> community TV series. We love community. He loves community. You love it too. I enjoy it fine. But you Join an Abed in the morning. That's the best part about community in my mind. Join Abed. Join Abed. Mm -hmm. Cold opens or closes. Yep. Jake Johnson is your Spider Man. Nice. He's a, he's a good one. I mean his his voice, anyways, right? I I liked him as the old, the old Spider Man in into the Icarus says I'm offended. Toby is my Spidey. Unsubbing. She what? Don't unsub. I just don't. I think I don't know. I just don't like him very much. <laughs> Andrew Spider Man is going to redeem himself by saving MJ in No Way Home. Is that a spoiler? Did I just read that? La, 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 la. Or is that a guess? <laughs> Bug a Pillar called her Emma Roberts in his, in his video. Oops. <laughs> Did you just realize that after edit? <laughs> oh, bummer. Rewatch, rewatch it, re record. The original Emma for Time movie breaks my heart at the beginning every time they release the behind the scenes teaser. For, they did the t behind the scenes? Yeah. The oldest is the only one that's watched the original Lamp Before Time, and that that got her just like Lion King Mufasa scene did. So she felt that one, but she she also liked the movie a lot. Felicia, I thought the sheriff did a good job in Midnight Mass. I also oh he's also in um, Bly Manor. Mm -hmm. So I just love how flanagan uses the same actors again i don't know why i like that so much but i do like that he uses similar actors in, in his stuff toby looked 40 when he was supposed to be like 20 he was also in high school in the first movie he looked like he was 35 so you just realized that as you said it <laughs> in the first video, you called her Emma Watson. There's too many Emmas. <laughs> then you called her Emma, Emma Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a fan theory? Okay. I, I wouldn't put it past you, though, Thomas. I wouldn't. Put, uh, that, that seems like a likely thing to happen. I was surprised. I. There's been rumors all year that the other Spider-Man are in it because all the other villains are, but they didn't show that in the latest trailer, and I thought that was going to be the money shot of the last trailer, but the, it never happened. So I, maybe they're... Are they saving it for the movie? Maybe. First time I've ever seen it. I love Into the Spider-Verse, right? Yeah, Into the Spider-Verse so is so good. good. So good. Just the soundtrack, yeah. the animation style, how the frames per second get better as Miles gets better better at being Spider-Man. Yeah. At first it's all wonky because he's out of sorts. So great. Into the Emma-verse. <laughs> also like that Spider-Gwen's in it because I love Spider-Gwen. I think that's one of the reasons why I like it a lot. Mine is Spider-Pig. So glad he was in it. 
And Jake Johnson. I mean, he his he does his a good older Peter, Peter Parker, Parker voice. It's so good. So good. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder if multiverse can save Spider Man three for being awful. What's the best and worst movies we've reacted to so far? What's the worst movie we've reacted to? Leprechaun. I knew you were going to say that. It was the worst. <laughs> and the best one is Doctor Sleep. Actually, the worst might be the Ewok. The Ewok movies. movie? Has anybody watched our Ewok movie reactions? <laughs> if you haven't, the second one, I'm wearing an Ewok costume. So. <laughs> We know you're a real fan if you know I've worn Ewok costume on a reaction. We watched them after they hit Disney Plus, and I thought Welcome, more people Abba. would be like into it. But uh, will you be watching Black Friday horror movie with Bruce Campbell? Bruce Campbell, yes. Beastmaster, yes. Those are on the list. If Bruce Campbell's in something, we'll watch it. Like Bubba Hotel. I don't know it's on who the list. Bruce Campbell is. He's Ash and Evil Dead. Which we will watch. Oh, okay. You've seen him. He's the guy with the... Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Best and worst Halloween, as in the Halloween franchise? Of the ones we've seen. Of the one we watched? I think you said the first one. The first one was the best. The last one was the worst. <laughs> and we've watched one, two, four, five, six. You're adding your Ewok movie to your watch later right now. Those were so bad she almost fell asleep. I had a hard time staying awake. I was like, oh god. <laughs> These are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Caravan of Courage was horrible. Battle for Endor wasn't too bad. It was at least... We had a little fun with it. Yeah, but the Caravan of Courage, you guys. Oh my god, it's just so. It's stupid. just them walking and camping. It's all the movie. Literally, is. just them walking, camping, walking, camping, walking, camping, fighting a spider. Yeah, our goal is to do Bruce Campbell or uh, um, Evil Dead trilogy, and then Ash vs Evil Dead, and then Evil Dead remake, or maybe Evil Dead remake in between, or Evil Dead remake in our month of Eve remakes. Hello from outer space. Next fall in theaters near you. I like your reactions. Very human. Thank you, Eddie from outer space. I've heard of that one. I'll have to look it up. The voice of Spider Gwen is playing Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. Is that in the Hawkeye? Yeah, Hawkeye. Yeah, I would have loved to see her on screen. Oh, as Gwen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really did wear a costume. My mom made the, that costume. That's the best part. Yeah, her mom made that costume for... She made that for a Halloween party. We actually for, have two in the closet. There's... For her and my dad for, like, when, when they came out. When yeah. Star Wars was, like, a big hit. One year for Halloween. So funny. She has not seen Boondock Saints. It's on our list, Joe. The name of the so road. So far back. You keep. I don't know. Haley Steinfeld is your free pass. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Future, oh, like best somewhere. movie ever. That's what brought us together. Mm -hmm. Where we're going, we don't need roads. When is my next first time reaction? It's coming up. I feel like we did one just not too long ago. 
The Majestic. So good. He really loved that movie. I watched it for the first time. First time I ever watched that, I cried. It's a good one. It's a movie that made me cry. Shutter Island. Tuesday. Tuesday. I've never seen Shutter Island. She hadn't seen it either, so. Yeah, yeah, back in 77. Or it might have been 78 that she made it. That she made it. No, Ewoks didn't come out until 85. Oh. Or 83. When okay, Return then it was of the in the Jedi 80s came out. then. It was 83. Return when, the like, the Halloween after those Star Wars movies with the Ewoks came out, she made those for a Halloween party. Burn Notice. Sounds familiar to me. I don't think I remember it, though. Burn Notice. Isn't that the one with George Clooney? Or, um... Well, or Brad Pitt? That's Burn After Reading. Oh. Have you seen that? Right. Bur- oh, Burn Notice is a TV show. Oh, TV is show? it? I think it's a TV show. No, it's a thriller from 2007. I was way off. What the... I haven't seen it. There is a TV series, though, too, from 2007 to 2013. Oh. Oh, no, it is a TV show. Okay, okay I don't know why. I, s- I didn't see the seven seasons there. This guy. Sorry. I just burped. Oh, it's got Bruce Campbell in it. Twinkie hot dog. Ooh, how'd that taste? (laughs) Favorite Bruce Campbell flick? Will you watch Black Friday? The new one looks fun as hell. Haley Steinfeld's in Bumblebee? I've not seen Bumblebee. Yeah, that was actually... uh, And I haven't seen the new True True Grit either. I've seen the original True Grit with John Wayne, but not Not the Jeff Bridges one. It's Coen Brothers, too. We'll have to watch those. Yeah. Uh, that Black Friday movie is just coming out, right? We probably won't get to it ASAP, but definitely want to throw it on the list. Ramon, I am a Leo. He's a Cancer. Hey. Right? Oh, my son, yeah. Thought you were being rude. How hard is it to get semen out of Ewok fur? <laughs> no comment. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> well, thank you, Jared. Squid Game was really good, right? It was a good show. Yeah. We've we're done with it, but you guys they haven't seen all of our right? Oh yeah, we're, we're we like finished it. Halfway through, I think, this week. Because we're releasing one video. We, we binged. We binged. I I'm just wondering like previously before this month, we've been doing T V shows like two episodes of release. And then because we kinda had a bunch of odd numbered season video uh shows to watch. And we had a bunch of new shows we wanted to watch. We kind of split it, spread it out. So we're still watching like the same amount of TV a week, but we're watching more shows a week. So I'm wondering if you guys are enjoying that. Because we have Bly Manor, Midnight Mass, Squid Game, and Dexter. An hour a week, so. (laughs) Rick... (laughs) It was not good. Leprechaun was not a good movie. I will gladly watch all of them, all seven of them. She's gone to. But uh, it was weird. It was just like a weird movie, like this little tiny leprechaun running around doing weird shit. It's odd. I think she would have had more fun with it if we watched it after like Friday the 13th or something. After we watched a whole it was bunch kinda, of really crappy horror shows. It was early in our, horror our channel's. Lifespan, yeah. and you were I still would, like nobody's. I would wa-. say she was still in the nobody's gonna watch. This. I would say it's maybe it was like our first corny thing to watch, corny horror movie, right? It was because it was like a month into our channel, and it was like it's St. Patrick's Day, we gotta watch Leprechaun. Yeah, we've been going balls to the walls. November's been crazy. I mean, releasing every something every day this month has been um, hard. It's been hard for you. What movies are you looking forward to watching? You? You? Yeah. Me? What movies are you looking forward to? I don't really know which movies we're watching. He just... I just show up. I haven't watched The Matrix in a while. I just said what we're watching next month. I wasn't listening. It was fun watching RoboCop again. 
Adam Lieber. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> like, Matrix and Scream, I both haven't watched in a long time, so it's going to be fun to review those. Y'all should watch The Florida Project by Sean Baker. Never heard of it. Such a good A24 movie? What does that mean? 24. We're, it's a show we're going to watch. Florida Project is such a good A24 movie. Oh, A24. Studio A24. Oh. They, they're they like, um, they, I think they didn't hereditary. They're Jared, you binged all of our reactions to Jason and Freddy movies? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because just watching all of those was There's a adorable. bunch of ways to do it, too. You could watch it in the order we watched it in, or you can watch it just Friday the 13th. We have a number of playlists for you, so. <laughs> you complained a lot of the time, but now that it's all over, is there a part of you that's sad that you have no more Freddy or Jason movies to watch? Not at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Manuel, but we do have one more. Freddy, and one more Jason movie to watch. The remakes. Oh, yeah, the remakes. Super. <laughs> Super. <laughs> 24 is my second favorite show of all time, too, after The X-Files. Thanks, Brian, for hanging out. Appreciate you being here tonight. Yeah, we got 15 <laughs> more minutes, then we got to get off and watch uh, Dexter. Oh, yeah, we got to watch Dexter before bed. Yep. We also have 400 likes on this video. Holy cow. If you haven't liked it yet, do it. God, thank you, guys. No it's more awesome. Twinkie hot dogs, though. Yeah, those are done. If you want to watch us eat that, you got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Hudsucker Proxy. That's another Coen Brothers movie. I've heard of it. Because uh, it's a weird name, but I've definitely never seen it. Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, okay. we did Jason X. It's on the channel. Go check it out. I've never even heard of the TV show Millennium. Have you? Yeah. It's got, uh, what's his name that plays uh, Bishop in the Alien movies? Oh. Right? Am I right? I think so. It was from the creator of X Files, I think. We watched Breaking Bad before this. Yeah, I've seen it. Fringe. Fringe is on my list of TV shows to watch. I don't know if we'll watch it on this, but I I want to watch it someday. My feelings are hurt knowing that Mrs. Movies would say that Leprechaun is her worst movie after I said her the complete set. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> I, I told you, Rick, I'll, I will gladly watch all of yeah. them. No problem. It just was March not 17th, a good movie. you'll see another one. <laughs> the two dislikes are from Jason and Fred. I thought dislikes were disabled. Didn't YouTube turn those off? I thought dislikes. I saw announcements for that. Chair view. I've already seen Weeds. Actually, I watched it in college with some of my, my with my roommates. Has there been much lag or buffering tonight, folks? Because we dropped like four percent of our frames tonight. <clears throat> you should watch Tenant. She's never seen Jericho. I have. That was another one of those like Firefly shows that ended too soon. Fans got it a second season, but still, it should have got more. We'll watch Scarface at some point. The Devos? I haven't even seen one question, man. Happy birthday, Ghost Dog. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Thanks for ignoring six of my questions in one stream. Well, I don't haven't seen any of them. If you had to guess your most viewed reactions on the channel, do you think you'd pick any of the current top three? If not, which would be your picks? Um, I think 300 just became our top video, right? I have no idea. 300 is at 114,000 views now. Inglorious Bastards is at 85. Inglorious Bastards got up to number two. 
And the Exorcist is now number three. Wow, Exorcist oh, jumped up. We're like two pages of comments behind, apparently. On what? Comments. On Super Chat? Buffering and skipping comes and goes. We don't miss any Super Chats. Did we talk about Floor not Project? Super, uh, not Super Chats, oh. just chat in general. No buffering. When you ate the Twinkie dog, it dropped? No! It was really good. Which one does she use the small screen the most for? The Conjuring. The Conjuring, yeah. yeah. Maybe even Conjuring 2. I had a rough time. So yeah, I did not expect Inglorious Bastards to be our number two video. It is? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. And then 300 and The Exorcist are our top three. I mean, The Exorcist is just... I got a bunch of big, I think I got a big bump from Halloween season. Freddy vs. Jason is in our top five. Wow. Thanks for hanging out since uh, at 1.47 a.m. for Decade Videographer. That's crazy. It's, it's late there. I hey, had glad you're enjoying Dexter. Uh, yeah, we're going to, after we're done here in about 10 minutes, we're going to go watch the next episode of Dexter because it, it's up on uh, Showtime Plus. Yeah. Showtime Anytime. Showtime Anytime, excuse me. I'm too bugged with that. I was expecting more views for Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. The originals, because they're, they're classics, and I feel like they're the large following. It's weird Queen. that... No, I didn't. <laughs> Freddy vs. Jason has like three times as many views as the first Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street. Or even Friday the 13th Part 2. So. Three hundred had a huge bump last month. It was our first hundred thousand video video. We were watching it. We're like three hundred. Whoa! Can we do a farm tour on Instagram? Maybe at some point. It's like disgusting weather out here now, turning into winter, so not much to look at. Yeah, I've totally seen Smokey and the Bandit. It's one of my favorite movies. Love it. Ray Hawkins with the $40. Lost count, but if my memory is correct, this should round me out tonight. Probably a little over 200. Thank you for everything tonight, Ray. Oh, Ray, thank you so Stream much. Stream definitely helped pass some of my 24-hour staff duty shift tonight. You're in the Army. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service, Ray. I appreciate it a lot. Already can't wait for the next stream. Thank you so much. Thanks for your contributions tonight. It's been great having you here, hanging out with us, for sure. And for those wondering when our next stream will be... Uh, it will be the... When is the Christmas party? I don't know. It's not going to be a real Christmas party this year. I know, I'm just making sure it's not the same day we're <laughs> usually scheduled for. I don't stream. know if I put it down. I don't know if I... I didn't put it down. I didn't mark it. It's tentatively the 18th of December is when we'll stream. I figured we probably wouldn't go to the Christmas party this year. Okay. Because it's going to just be so small. Eastbound and down, we've actually seen it. I love it. Carry the Blob. We will be watching those. What about Bob? She's seen. She didn't like it. I, There's something about Bill Murray. It's something I I She loves Ghostbusters. I though. love Bill Murray. I like I like Bill Murray. I just for some reason his style of the style of humor he uses in some of his movies just doesn't hit with me. I don't know why cuz I like Bill Murray. I you also his, hate Groundhog's Day. I hate Groundhog's Day. I love his SNL skits back in the day. I just You like him in Caddyshack, right? Yep, like him in Caddyshack. There's just something about 
his humor sometimes that doesn't hit me quite right. I don't know why. Love from South Korea. I love your reaction to the Haunting Hill House. It made me cry too. We do use voodoo. Yes. I have no idea where I'm even reading from now. I'm just... Whatever catches my eyes, I say something. Seven? Seven. We watched Seven. Yeah. Go check it out. It's our seventh video on our channel. It's pretty good, too. I'm I'm pretty good in that one. Any Dan Aykroyd fans here? I love my girl. I love Tommy Boy. Is he in Tommy? Oh, yeah, he's the dad in Tommy Boy. <laughs> I don't know how she can hate Gra Groundhog Day. What about Bob? Scrooged. I don't like Groundhog Day because the same thing happens <laughs> over and over again. It's really annoying. But she loves the and day after. And I don't, after. I don't like what about Bob because of he's yelling the whole. Richard Dreyfus is yelling the whole time, and it <laughs> it's just annoying to me. Like stop yelling. Maybe it's Richard Dreyfus I don't like in yeah. that in that movie. But the funny is Richard Dreyfus is basically just bottling his hate for actual hate for Bill Murray in that movie because they hated each other. So that's like him. Well, it definitely weird. came across because the whole movie makes me uncomfortable, <laughs> right? Like, I'm uncomfortable the whole time ah, watching that movie. Yeah, Callahan Auto Parts. Zelensky, auto, the Auto Parts King. Ray Zelensky. She's actually seen The Langoliers. She's watched it with her dad. The Langoliers, yeah. My dad watched it a lot. He always watched it. When my mom was gone on business trips, always, right? Like, it just always happened to be on the sci-fi channel when my mom was gone on a business trip, and I always freaked out because I thought it was going to happen to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Geo Racing. Thanks for hanging out. I do like Stripes. Yep, I like Stripes. It's a good one. Yeah, I think, was it What About Bob or Groundhog Day? No, Groundhog Day, because What About Bob is uh, Frank Oz. Groundhog Day is what um, Ivan Reitman and Bill Murray had a falling out over, and they didn't mm -hmm. talk to you know, Ivan Reitman's Egon, right? Mm -hmm. Or no, Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis. Yeah. And uh, so they didn't talk until Harold Ramis was on his deathbed for like 20 years. Chevy Chase is another one of those actors. Like, I think the stuff he does is funny, but for some reason I don't, like, I don't know. He, there's, like, a weird arrogance you, or... You like the vacation movies. I like the vacation movies. I like Fletch. I think it's funny. I, I'm sh Caddyshack, like, things he's in are funny. He's great as Pierce and Community. Yeah, I just, there's something about course, his personality. Pierce and Community is just him. <laughs> I, I feel like it's just him. Yeah. Just kind of like narcissistic. Yeah. A little dumb down. Harold Ramis, yeah. Yeah, I corrected myself. I was like, um, uh, isn't Larger Than Life that elephant movie? <laughs> that Bill Murray elephant movie, Larger Than Life? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the Lankaliers, the movie should be remade. No, not like, the Backstreet Boys song. It was just uh, like a sci-fi made-for-TV movie, I think. It would be a good, like, true remake movie, I think. Uh, no, I've never heard of Nothing But Trouble. Oh, yeah, it is about an elephant. A bunch of people saying Chevy Chase is a butthole in real life. Yeah, I mean, his personality kind of comes through in some of his characters. He's It's funny, but still kind of a jerk. Mysterious Midnight coming without a message. Thank you, Thank Mysterious. Thank you for the $30. Silver Bullet. Super Bad's good. The Nice Guys. No, we haven't seen it. We're, that is on our list. That would be a first it. time for both of us. Yeah. Haven't seen Jojo Rabbit either. Uh, 
<clears throat> Watch the Backstreet Boys movie. <laughs> Wait, there's a back. Is that is that an actual? Is there thing? a movie? Is that Millennium? Is that what it's called? Is... Operation Dumbo Drop. I love that one. It's such a good one. Forty year old virgin. Seen it. Nothing but trouble. I feel like lots of people have mentioned that one tonight. Hi, Zoe. Zoe. Zoe or Zoe? I think it's Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Where? Say hi to my dog. Oh. The Mist. We just watched The Mist. <laughs> oh, Nothing But Trouble. Yeah, that's Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, John Candy. Oh, wow. We'll have to watch that. Um, Is The Mist out yet? Yeah, The Mist is out. Misses go, out. Go check out the mist. It's on. It's on our channel. Do not watch nothing but trouble. We're gonna watch it, Derek. We're gonna watch it <laughs> gonna twice. Watch it. Oh yeah, Spice World. Love it. I was a big Spice Girls fan. Have you watched the Harold and Kumar movies? People of the world, spice up your life. Oh, Jesus. Just kidding. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right. You guys. Final I minute. I think this is it. We got to wrap it up because we got to go watch Dexter. Last call for burning questions. Any plans to see The Void? I have seen The Void. Great uh, modern day practical effects. It's actually one of the movies I reviewed back when I was doing movie reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen Office Christmas Party. It's a good one. Human Centipede? No. No? You don't want to watch it? Nope. We're going to watch it. Okay, great. <laughs> the Stand. I have both. I just bought the stand on both both the, the original and the new miniseries so oh black tower i'm so sorry i hope that uh you get yourself fixed up on the side of the road pretty soon be safe out there will there be any anime probably at some point yeah i know we'll definitely get to a cure at some point Probably should watch Ghost in the Shell as well. Those Love the Great classes. Outdoors. Classic. That whole steak. Oh my gosh. You finally caught a live stream two minutes before the end. Well, at least you caught Woo! it, Mr. Top Hat. <laughs> Top Hat Jones. Have you ever watched The Man with One Red Shoe? I've never heard of The Man with One Red Shoe. Oh yeah, that's a Tom Hanks movie. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Apparently she has. I've seen it. Venice bitch with the four ninety nine. Thanks for all the time and effort you put in the reactions. Must appreciate it. Well, thank you Thanks for, for watching. watching our stuff. So I would so do grateful it. for all of you guys all the time. Love sharing our movie experiences with you guys. Does Mrs. Movies have any hair other than what we see? Leon, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, no, we're not going to react to Cobra Kai because we already seen it. It's so good, though. If the you haven't seen Cobra out. Kai, watch it. It's so good. Uh, that's one thing we've always talked about is like jumping into a series to react to mid-series. Is Just, that a thing people it want? Fears it's, weird. It, it feels, feels weird, weird to right? do. We would if people really want us to do it. Like Yellowstone, we didn't want to jump into the middle of season four. four. Right? That's kind of weird. Like we like going on a journey with you from the start. Right? He does, his OCD really likes yeah, that. Yeah, I like completionism. Completion, I'm a completionist. Yeah. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> That's not what you said last night. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> Have a great night, Mr. Top Hat Jones. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> the actual fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to that from Cleon. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ron. <laughs> All right, we're calling it. Oh, gosh, you guys. Thank you guys so for hanging out. hanging out. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we're going to do it again in December. Come back. We'll do some giveaways yeah. for December for Christmas time. Yep. Homemade caramels for my family. And at least one movie because we've got a duplicate. Yeah, so. absolutely. This has been so great. You guys are the best. Couldn't do it without you. 
more twinky stuff next time maybe if you're lucky <laughs> maybe if you're lucky good night everybody thank you so much for hanging out until next time have a good one